The PO unboxing. Yeah. Hey, guess what I found? What? We have a theme song now. We don't need this. Yeah. Time to get rid of it. And now it'll be gone for another few months as I try to find it again. So. So yeah, we have quite a few boxes here. Some of them are opened already because I ordered a bunch of stuff to the P.O. box. Just like, you know, packages and whatnot. And no one seems to label things properly about where stuff came from. Yes. So I have to look through certain things just to make sure what I'm looking for. Why which reminds me. just look at the address? Like, the address. I did. I did. And they're not labeled properly. They don't have their proper company name on there or something like that. Or if it's an eBay thing, sometimes they don't have their proper name. And speaking of orders I made, might as well advertise this. If you're going to be at LionCon or any other conventions coming up soon. LionCon, September 22nd and 23rd. That's the one. In Rochester? St. Cloud, Minnesota? St. Cloud. St. Cloud, Minnesota. I got pins. Take Top and fourth wall pins. Take it out the thing so people can really see it. I mean, it's transparent. Uh, glare. Lewis. You, you gotta open it. You got to advertise things right, dang it. You got to, like, you got to talk it up. Now, now, what is your price for these? That would be $7. Look at this sweet-ass enamel pin. Do you like... The top of the fourth wall symbol? Do you like focusing the camera? Isn't it... Uh, uh, focus, damn it. Help me. There you go. Yeah, that's because you're pale as shit. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, look at this thing. It ha it ha it's like has a wall and a hat and some fire. It's the iconic logo. Go get it at Lion Con, September 22nd and 23rd in St. Cloud, Minnesota. I, I need your paleness. Screw it. They've seen the damn pen now. <laughs> look, look. I'm trying to advertise your thing and I'm put it back in the bag. <laughs> First you tell me to take it out of the bag, now you tell me to put it back in the bag. This is a process to thing. And and hopefully, depending on how well they do with the stock I have, I may make this an ongoing item. Yes. So if you want to be the first to get it, go to LionCon, 22nd and 23rd, 2018. It's going to be really sad if... St. Cloud, Minnesota. It's going to be really sad if I get really busy and this video comes out after LionCon. Oh, God damn it. I so anyway, make sure it goes up. We got packages. I got a package addressed to me for once. What? I don't get anything. What is this happening? It's almost like you're a regular part of these videos. Perhaps, but it's not like I'm a regular part of Top the Fourth Wall or anything. I mean, you have appeared several times on a top. Yeah, your your Lanyard character never shows up. I wonder why that is. I wonder if someone should change that. And maybe right apart again. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, this is Neil Adams' Dead Man book. Hey, Neil Adams. This comes from Chris Daly from Mountain Man Comics. That might be as an order that someone else made. All right. It has a big Vega on it. Thank you for spelling it right. Not Vega or Voga or Vigo or VGV or VGA, as sometimes they call me online. Sup, VGA? Love you, Vita. Grr. Hello, Vega. You asked for them. You got them. Okay, so I got some Overwatch, a Chibi, uh... Chibi over Mc Hanzo. So I'm really into this ship of Hanzo and McCree, and people make art for it. It's very popular, and I really want that that one artist stuff. I see it on very artist alley, but this is a Chibi one. And uh, okay, here's some hot ass Hanzo with some pecs and shit. And uh, here's some hot ass McCree. You can see his wife front. Oh yeah, might have to censor this episode. Oh cool. And you got some mayhem with uh, Junkrat and May, who it, it's a ship I really like, and a, a lot of other people like, but some a lot of people don't like. So you don't see as much mayhem online as you want. So I'm glad to have this. Well. I don't like it, but that's because Road Rat, and, sorry, uh, Junk Rat and Road Hog yeah, belong it's, together. It, it's Road Rat. Road Rat. Yeah, that's Road Rat. Road Rat is the true ship. Hell no! It's 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 Junk and May, and then Lucio and Symmetra, and then Hanzo and McCree, 
And of course, Soldier 76 and Reaper. Why you got none for Roadhog? Because Roadhog's true love is huffing gas and and being fat. You're so, you're so mean. <laughs> yes. Yes, Probably I am. Imagine that CGC. Yes, I don't ship okay, Roadhog eBay. with anyone. I, don't, I have no... I don't know. I'm just... Uh, okay, you're wrong, but okay. You're wrong. You're just saying that because you see mostly just... Uh, I main Brigitte because I know everyone's going to ask that. Yeah, he's a Brigitte main. I can't stand playing with her. I got something from... Oh, my God. I didn't even see who this is from. I got... It's from Lone Star Comics. So. I got Archie Meets Batman 66. Oh, my God. Look for a Batman 66 review next year. <laughs> oh, we started talking about it. We have plans. We have plans. We have a whiteboard of plans before it got erased for things. Oh. Oh, man. I can't wait to do that episode. This is from Amazon Fulfillment Services, but okay, it's a... Okay, let's see. You got Lost in Space, special edition. Ooh. Lost in Space 1, Lost in Space 1, and uh, be extra safe with and. The X Men. It's oh, this is gonna be a PSA hell from Blockbuster Video. You know that place that's totally still around. Actually, there is still one in the U.S. Like one in Alaska, I think. This is uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Archive, mm -hmm. and it contains uh, at the very least the stuff from the uh, the Hamilton comic stuff because that's from flipping through here. So yeah, it's a huge ass trade put up by Boom, which has. Old Power Rangers comics and that, so that's very sweet. Nice. Thank you, Jeffrey Piet. Okay, I got a big box from... Where is this from? I don't know what it's from, but it's for Mr. and Mrs. Lovehog. Yes, it's from... Uh, the United Kingdom. Hey, hey, UK, how you doing today? What do we get all the way from? Well, I see Miss what we got from it. AJ Al-Lawal. Ah, oh, Chewbacca. Check it out. The Lego Chewbacca. Lego Chewbacca. Not bad looking for a Lego Chewbacca. That was going to be more like a brick heady thing, but look at it, man. Mm. We got to make custom pieces nowadays for everything. Oh, and I got some My, a My Little Pony giant coloring poster. Hell yeah. Oh, ponies. Oh, and you'd be interested in Pokemon, Mon, Mon. Okay, it's a poke. Remember when we were kids, we had those Pokemon magazines? I used to buy those. I'm not sure about you. This one comes with a disc flyer and a Pokeball launcher. Ooh. Oh my god, Pokemon magazines. That brings me back. And I... this one comes with uh, trading card games for Sun and Moon. Yeah, trading cards. I used to, I used to get these magazines at the grocery store growing up. Pokemon was a shit. It's Damien, son of shit. Batman, coming to us from uh, Goodwill. Sorry to interrupt you there. Oh, Batman the movie magazine with uh, some. Limited edition Batman and Harley Quinn like Legos. Lego figs. That's awesome. That a letter? Yes, it is. Oh, look, there's something else here. Oh. Oh, it's Pokemon fan art. Look what they drew you. Here, hold that up. Put that up in still store. Oh. Got a Geodude and a Bulbasaur and a Geodude as 90s kid. Hey, honey. Yo. You know what we should stop for? We can't find the poop signs anywhere. AJ's bringing it back. AJ's bringing it back. Uh, tell you what, here, let me trade you, because this is a postcard specifically addressed to you. Here. Please. I will read this. Okay. As an apology for the lamp of your joke, here's a drawing of your favorite Pokemon Bulbasaur. Also a bonus drawing of, well, you'll see. You'll understand the cons of this once you open the main package. Oh. Hello, Lewis and Vega. I know you hate it when the fan send you multiple packages at once, so I'm very sorry about having to do this. Don't worry, it's just the two. It's all right. <laughs> My original intention was to send everything to you at once, but I wasn't able to fit all the items I brought in the same package, so I had to send some of them separately. Please accept this drawing to the Bulbasaur as part of my apology, as well as a bonus drawing of, well, you'll see, from that autistic chick. Oh, hello, that autistic chick. How uh, you doing? This actually reminds me, because I was just uh, us, uh, doing, uh, going around things, I think there's another large package in the other room. If it has, if there's a package with a poop sign on it, I think it's also from them. Oh, I got that one. That's uh, over here, which also has the the microphone. Then it might be them. Yep, check the mic one. It's over here. We'll get to that box in a minute. Let me go. I'll be right back. Poop. Double check and see if poop. I don't have another package that was left over from last time. All right, so I'll read this postcard with the American Girls Collection. I actually walked into that store once before, like once before, and I'm just like, yeah, I didn't know about any of this growing up. I was, I, I just had a Kenya doll and some Barbies. Anyway, Vega, by the time I'm writing, writing this, I haven't watched, watched your idols of anime, but I will check on what you have up to, I will watch them. 
Two questions. Well, one, Whirly, will you be make it make a video on Mermaid Melody Peach Peach Peach? No. Actually, I addressed that in a video already of not why I'm not reviewing it because it was on the schedule and then I took it off because of factors and it's in episode. I think it's at the, I want to say it's at the end of the Kiraman Revolution episode, but it might be at the end of the Wandaba style episode. Anyway, I addressed it in an episode. Uh, and I'm not reviewing Macross because Macross is mostly science fiction mecha space opera with idols instead of being mostly about idols, but also has, say, mecha and other things as a side. Basically, compare Macross to AKB008, who is both from so Choji Kawamori, and AKB 048 has more idol, while Macross doesn't have as much idol. What you should be really reviewing is Robotech. Get out! This is not a Robotech household. We are Macross and not Robotech. I've only seen the first two episodes of Robotech. She just really gets angry about it. It's SDF Macross is. You need to watch the real series, not any of that Robotech. What's it called? Anyway, uh. Second, I was shiny breeding while watching one of your unboxings and hatch one. You now have a shiny Zora named after you. Good luck in the future, Marie. Thank you. P.S. I can't believe I still have these old postcards. <laughs> yeah, when was this postcard, like, come from? What year? But, uh, yeah, thank you. And definitely, please check out the Idols of Anime. I'm sorry I haven't been making them. It just takes a long time, especially with the pre-par episode, but... Uh, thank you. I really appreciate this postcard, and I appreciate people who address things to me. I'm, I, it's, this is his thing. I'm just, I'm kind of like a side dish. She's a part of things too. We send her more stuff. I'm just a side dish. Send her macross stuff. <laughs> no. Y yes. Yes. Send me macross stuff. By the way, I was at Otakon. To those of you who saw me at Otakon, I saw my panels. Great. But Shoji Kawamori was there. And he was awesome, and he did a whole mecha design panel, and I took lots of notes and drawings. And he talked about how he just takes objects, and then kind of like twists them out and just get inspiration for ships and stuff. And it's just amazing. Like, hey, this is a stapler, but now it's a ship. Lewis, staple ship. It's a ship. Actually, it goes this way. Ship. It's a stapler, but it's a spaceship now. Because I use my imagination to design things. Look at it. Look at this. Marvel Hurros. Do they really need to... Do... High school equals bad cafeteria food, bullies, gym class, and people with secret superpowers as if... Why you gotta be so mean to Hurros? Because it sounds so dumb. Hurros? Really? Really? Anyway, here. You finish with that. You just, just gotta be so mean to the to the stuff that people send us. Who gave it? Gave you her rose? I don't know. It was, an, it was from my online bookstore. Okay. Well, I got something from Larry Grabowski. Now that's a name that you would see in a cartoon. Ah, I dropped my cutie. This wine oh, God, is an it. eBay purchase it's, from I hate, John Clemens. Stop packing comics like this. I know, I know. You see, you see, you see. It, it's it's a thing. And now it's taped to the thing. And it's I, like BoJack and Honeydew. Yes. Oh, cool. It's Rick and Morty and Dungeons and Dragons. I saw this. Uh, I think I saw this in the shop this week. Hmm. Did you get end up picking it up? No. Well, we got it now. I'm not big into the Rick and Morty comics. But you like the Rick and Morty show. Yes, but it's a different universe. Uh, like, they, they explicitly state the TV show and the comic universe are two different universes. So, it's more Rick and Morty fun. I don't know, but it's not the Rick and Morty I want to follow. Sigh. Technically, the Rick and Morty we're following may not be the one we're actually following because of fan theories. Anyways. Anyway, I got some Mutant X comics from the <laughs> hit TV show. <laughs> Remember that show? It's from the hit TV show. It says right <laughs> <Yeah>. there. <laughs> Yeah, it hit the ground. I anyway. never watched a single episode of Mutant X. It was a failure of syndication. Anyway, I just got from Amazon Filament Services Monster Girl Papercraft. Yay. Uh, 
Why you gotta be so disrespectful? I don't like Monster Musume! Stop trying to push it on me! I don't care about the snake girl. I don't care about the... Who, who else is in, the, in this? Whoever this blonde one is. I don't care about this... I guess tarantula woman. I don't care about goo girl. I don't care about girl with wings on butt. I don't care about... Is this a mermaid, I guess? And I think that's it. Uh, who else I don't care about in this? But but Papercraft. I don't care about but papercraft. whoever this is. I don't care about but, but, whoever this is. But sweetie, sweetie. Papercraft. I don't care about who... Is this a furry? I don't care about this one. Why, why you gotta be so I mean? I don't care about... Whatever they're doing, unless that's a piece of weed, but it's not. So anyway, I got a pack here from William Wright. I'm it, sorry, I just won't get into Monster Musume. And it is a record featuring four new audio adventures of the Starship Enterprise. Now all we need is a record player. Indeed. Send okay. a record The Time player. Stealer, To Starve a Fleaver, The Logistics of Stampede, and A Mirror for Futility. Let's put this behind us so... Yeah, because records are going to be a bit more fragile. There's a letter yeah. here. Very... Brief one that has faded, actually. Hi, Lewis. Found it for cheap. Uh, figured if you couldn't play it, you could at least hang it. Hope you enjoy it. From William Wright. Thank you, William. Thanks. And yeah, that's really cool. Uh, yeah. We don't have a record player, but, but the cool thing is, despite you know other forms of media you know dying off, you, know, mm -hmm. you don't see CD players and anymore you, know, you maybe sometimes but not in like usually target or anything but target still has like record players yeah that's because of the whole vinyl boom pretty much and hey we at a half price they sell record players and they have like uh frames for your records yeah if you want to like just display them so we can display your camelot and this mm. all right so we got something from andrew jewiffle and it is transformers timelines dawn's a future pass ah Got uh, from Jody Johnston, Jodston, Jodstu. I, I sorry, the last name is kind of Jody Jody Johnston. From Jody. Jo Very jo sorry, Jody. Jo is she part of the JoJo line? Maybe. Is this a character I don't know about? Is that a mother flipping JoJo reference? <laughs> no, it was Ido. <laughs> anyway, from World Best Comics, uh, the Mighty Moses Lack. And of course. <laughs> People had to had to send me as much of these as they could. Catwoman plus Tweety and Sylvester. Wow. Written by Gail Simone. Nice. She's been talking about this on her Twitter. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, Jody. Yay, thanks, JoJo. Please tell me people call you JoJo in real life, because that'd be awesome. Oh, that could be annoying. Aw. It's an international one, uh, I think from the UK. I don't see a return address on this one. Well, I already just opened something from Benjamin Hayden, who I think sent stuff before, if yep. I remember correctly. Get out the thing! Get out the thing! I got Star Trek Starfleet Academy number 13 with a mini comic on the back made for Stratego, which I might do for, you know, a comp for quickies at some point, and a letter. Ah, this one dropped something. A long one, too. Hi. Uh, let's see. Dear Linkara Arviga, or whomever opens this, hi, 90s kid, I am a longtime watcher from Northern Ireland. Hey. I never thought I would send you anything, but I saw this comic and thought of you. I know you get a lot of questions, but to make my delivery a delightful diversion from the parade of pleasantries that penetrate your post box. I try love that alliteration. Try saying that sentence five times fast. Half my questions will be in code, code key included. Oh my god. We, we probably do not have time to read the coded questions, I'm sorry to say. Yeah, that's a lot of work, so uh, can we, like, do it later? Maybe. Anyway, I'll do the uh, questions that are in English. Uh, where do you get your great Doctor Who cosplay? Uh, my seventh Doctor cosplay I've been assembling over time. Uh, my brother went to England years and years and years ago and got the que the original question mark uh, uh, sweater vest before they started selling them commercially, which they do now at, like, ThinkGeek. Uh, same for the same for the question mark umbrella. The tie is a paisley tie. Uh, the scarf is a paisley scarf, which I sell those on now online as well. The hat is uh, a a Panama hat is what it's called. The type of hat that is, and it's a rolling hanging straw hat. You're supposed to roll it up uh, for storage. It doesn't work as well in practice. I need to get a new one. Mine is kind of bleh, which also had a specific custom 
uh, uh, ring around it that I, that I found online that someone made them specifically for Seven Doctor hats. Didn't you find a new piece at console room? Yeah, it was a new uh, uh, scarf. Oh, gotcha. And you found something at console room for that. Yeah. Uh, did you know Big Finish put a large amount of their Doctor Who dramas on Spotify for free? Yes, Ooh, I did. I, unfortunately, good. a lot of it's. I think it's pretty much everything I already have. Hmm. Uh, but, but, you know, for those of you who are out there and maybe want to check out Doctor Who audio dramas, a lot of them are out there now, so take a look. No excuse now. I wasn't into them before, but you should try Horror of Glam Rock and Spare Parts. Spare Parts is excellent. I can't remember if I've seen, if I've listened to Horror of Glam Rock, but Spare Parts is basically Genesis of the Cybermen. Uh, go to ones. How many manga types, not times, have people asked you to review? Full Metal Alchemist is probably on that list a few dozen times by now. I think people have asked me to read some Full Metal Alchemist stuff before. Oh my god, you, if you do Full Metal Alchemist, you gotta get Jen in that because she practically wrote the book on FMA analysis. Hmm. But yeah, uh, I occasionally get manga these days. Most people nowadays de tend to want me to comment on like movies and TV shows as opposed to manga. I still think you should read My Hero. Hope you enjoyed. Yeah, my you know superhero based manga. People tend to ask me about One Punch Man, My Hero Academia, both of which I just did for live shows. I I pushed him into at least trying My Hero because it's good. Hope you enjoyed my puzzle. Really like your show. Please excuse my handwriting and keep what you, what you do uh, best. And I hope oh, keep doing what you do best. And I hope to see you burn Secret Empire one day. Your fan from Belfast. Uh, Coin. Toen. Oin. P.S. P.T.O. Uh, I'm assuming it's for more of the code. Okay. Anyway, uh, I'm sorry that, yeah, I can't... Sorry we don't really have time to do a whole Coded puzzle. thing, and I'm sorry if, if I don't recognize your first name, but thank you so much for, for this stuff, and thank you for the questions and for the letter. I'm going to need your help unpacking all of this, because oh, it's all really packed in bubble tape. Every single thing packed in bubble You know, I appreciate that they at least... Was very careful. Yeah. And hey, Stop I don't think we have a copy of this in the house. What is that? It is South Park, the Fractured Butthole. That's like the third one, isn't it? Uh, third one of what? Of okay. the Fractured Butthole, yeah. Um, no, there's like Stick of Truth, and this is like their superhero game. I am pretty sure that I, we have at least two other copies of the Fractured Butthole. You sure? Yes. Because I know we got two Mind copies you. of Stick of Truth, and we ended up... Like, giving a friend one? Maybe I'm thinking of Stick of Truth, but I'm pretty sure we at least have one, I think, for, like, PS3. We got multiple Stick of Truths, and one of our friends never, play, like, had it, so we were like, you want this one? And they were like, sure. So we still have um, Stick of Truth upstairs on the shelf. Don't blame me. I voted for Mayor McCheese. Ha! <laughs> I'm still blame you. Oh! Pink, pink tutu Batman! Pink tutu Batman! There you go! <laughs> Here, these are some comics. All right, comics. And well, I only do, do comics on this show. What's a comic? What's a paladin? What time is it? So, why don't we swap if you want me to read the letter? Sure. All right, dear Lewis, I am happy to receive the last set of comics sent you that you and that you are using my "Is the Mic On" sign I made for you for your new opening and theme song for the PO unboxing videos. That was very cool to see, and I also got a kicked out of seeing you destroy that cover image I sent you of the Trump's Titans comic. That was my reaction when I got the comic as a freebie the last time I ordered some <laughs> comics off eBay. It really is a bad comic that needs to be burned. Yeah, but I ain't gonna review it. I don't need to, you know, give give his name any more attention. Splitting image. This comic, uh, the comics I've sent you this time are four comics from DC's Legend of the Dead Earth series starring Superboy, Catwoman, and Batman, Spawn Kills Everyone, the Splitting Image 80-page Giant, and Batman, Whatever Happened to the Cape Crusader, a comic story that makes Batman out to be an immortal soul doomed to have a happy but very short childhood only to see his parents get killed in front of him and then grow up to fight evil as the Batman only to die and then be reborn to do it all over again. Basically, Whatever Happened to the Cape Crusader was a thing that came out of uh, Final Crisis and stuff like that. Basic, uh, much like how Alan Moore did Whatever Happened to the Man of Tomorrow, Whatever Happened to the Cape Crusader was, uh, I believe it was Neil Gaiman? Yeah. Mm. Well, Neil Gaiman's attempt to do something similar, but it's a much more spiritual kind of, uh, 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 it's very, it's much more vague than Whatever Happened to the Man of Tomorrow. Mm. Very ambiguous kind of story. I've also sent you two funny Lego Batman movie figures that I think you might like. They are Fairy Batman and Mermaid Batman. Ah. And I sent you the new South Park game, The Fractured Butthole, for the Xbox One. I think you will like this game because it makes fun of both comic book superhero fights like Civil War, as well as complicated superhero movie franchise plans. And we have an Xbox One, but barely any games, so yay! 
The fun fact about this game is that it was going to be called The Butthole of Time, but like with the first South Park movie, the makers of the game were told they could not use that name and had to rename it. I also sent you a Don't Blame Me, I Voted for Mary McCheese button made by Beast Rec that you could use as a prop for the upcoming election year should you review a presidential comic. No. <laughs> oh dear. I'm not review. I don't. Re I try to stay away from political stuff on the show. Well, now that it's been like over ten years, how about one of those Obama comics? No. Okay, now that it's been like twenty years, how about a Bush comic? Maybe in like thirty years. It took it, it took me uh, until for like thirty years before I finally did Reagan's Raiders. Okay, how about a Carter comic? I don't think they make a Jimmy Carter comic. There's somewhere... I bet if we Google search right now, there's a Jimmy Carter comic Oh, somewhere. I don't doubt it. Someone find it and send it to him, please. Well, sorry to hear about your car accident and your house flooding, and I'm happy that you are safe, and I hope that you get a new car soon, and the water damage in your house was not too bad. We did, in fact, get a new car shortly after we lost the old one. And the water damage wasn't too bad, but we had to move everything out of the office, and, you know, they had to fix up the carpet, and so now we're in a nice, clean, non-moldy, wet... Basement. I was filming with uh, Julie the other day in here and she spilled some water on the ground and I was like, oh crap! No, I can't let this happen again! It was oh. fine. <laughs> it was fine. It's you know, it's it's not like it got you know underneath it like it did before, so it's all yeah, good. Yeah, it's not like a mass amount of water where it's like <laughs> and as always, I have a few questions I want to ask you. Please see page two. Here is page two. Have you already seen the Incredibles two movie yet? And if so, what do you think of it? I've seen it. I love it. It's not. It's. I don't love it as much as the first one, but I like how it did different things than the first one. If anything, I want to see more of the kids fighting too, but yeah, but I did like how it mostly focused on Mrs. Incredible. And I really like the story with like the villains story pretty much. I have not seen it yet. Uh, what are your thoughts on the animated movies, Teen Titans Go to the Movies, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet, and Lego Movie Part 2, Second Part. Uh, haven't seen it, haven't seen it. The other two are not out yet. I really wanted to go see Teen Titans Go to the Movies, but we didn't get around to it because just busy. I went to see Incredibles around that time anyway. Uh, I don't really care about the Spider-Man movie. Wreck-It Ralph? Wreck-It Ralph, the first one, is one of my favorite Disney movies. It's like my second or third favorite Disney movie. Uh, like, period. But I don't really have high hopes for this one because it seems more like they're trying to do, like, emoji movie, but with Wreck-It Ralph characters. I don't know. And uh, Lego Movie 2. I'm looking forward to it because I loved Lego Movie 1. Hmm. What are your thoughts on the uh what are your thoughts on Amalgam comics? I only asked because Marvel is making their own amalgams called Infinity Warped Heroes. I saw those. Eh. Amalgam comics was a thing. I d I have no strong feelings about them one way or another, but people keep wanting me to review them. Uh what are your thoughts on the upcoming Star Trek versus the Transformers crossover? It's weird that they're doing the filmation animated series for it. <laughs> that that that's what they're going to be doing the basis of the character designs for. Uh, what do you think about Frank Castle, a.k.a. the Punisher, becoming the Cosmic Ghost Rider, adding yet another odd thing that Marvel has done with him in his, his history? Perhaps it's time to let the Punisher just go away. Just an idea. <laughs> because this, every time you do this, it feels like you you just don't know what to do with him. Uh, what are your thoughts on Toys R Us going out of business? I cleaned up at that clearance sale. Screw vulture capitalists. Yes. Fuck them. Let's go to Canada and go get to do go to their tours arrest. They still exist there. What are your thoughts on the Titans F bomb Batman trailer? <laughs> Fuck that. Buck Fat Man. Buck Fat Man. We did a whole live stream about it, so Oh god. About all the SDC announcement SDC announcements we cared about. Look that up on the channel. Oh god, we were just going off on <laughs> Guck Fedora. <laughs> Duck Fedora. And thank you for taking the time to answer my new questions. And if I find any more odd comics that I think you can use to show, I will send them to you. Sincerely, Benjamin J. Hayden. Thank you, Benjamin. <laughs> All right. I got something from Right Stuff, and it's The Dreaming from yeah. Queenie Chan. I actually never read this when it came out. Uh, I think it was, like, around when freaking Tokyo Pop was doing their OEL, and then they later just crashed. But this is mostly for you, honey. Oh. Good for a long box. Neat. This is on eBay one from EA Adkins, so. I'm opening something from Lone Star Comics again. Yep. Lone Star Comics. Lone Star. <laughs> Lone Star. Lone Star. <laughs> like Spaceballs. I know it's Spaceballs, honey. I was referencing another thing lately. You see, you see Spaceballs is a movie I've that I've seen Spaceballs more than you and before you. It parody Star Wars. 
Hey, wait, Kool-Aid Man. Made by a Kool guy. Kool-Aid Man as he battles the Thirsties and the Computator. Terror. Computator. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back to Kool-Aid Man more often now, aren't I? Yep. Oh, yeah, I should say. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, I don't think I ever actually used an oh, yeah at any point during that, that second review. It's because you got class, honey. Oh, I guess. I'm not a hat. Because <laughs> you're not a hat? Ah. Oh my, we can't even show that one. Oh yeah, I can't really show wait, this. Wait, wait, is this... It's a pig girl? Uh, it's called... For those of you who are curious, it's called Mirka and Dolfo's Unnatural. Yeah, and it's like this the naked... sexy human chick, but she has a pig tail and pig ears on top of her head. Kind of a pig and, uh, nose, a, not a really, weird though. kind of pig nose, but she's still mostly human. And she's, uh, straddling a pillow. And she's naked. And we can't show this. Uh, Probably porn. It's, yeah, we can't show the cover, because um, I like Lewis's having a YouTube t channel. So I yeah. like having money. Okay, so this is from, hey, George. What's up, George? George Horgoff. How you doing? Check out his blog, uh, Land of Excusion. And uh, yeah, I got to hang out with him a little bit at Oticon. Sorry I didn't get to hang out with you more, man. But I got to beat you up, which was great. Not really beat him up. <laughs> you totally beat him up. No! I like George! Anyway, he sent us Power Rangers Zeo Pinball. Yo! For like what, original PlayStation? PlayStation? Yeah. Yeah, we can play that uh, on the PS2. Fist of the North Star of the Movie, which I do not have in my collection. I've never actually seen Fist of the North Star of the Movie. Well, now we have no reason not to. Got some stuff from the Cargo Hold, which is just more of the DC and Looney Tunes crossover comics that I really have no interest in, especially because the, the uncanny valley with, with the cartoons being turned into more realistic looking art. We have E-Man going against the F-Men. I believe, oh, I believe wow. we have issues of E-Man somewhere around here. Ultra Force Spider-Man. The manga Spider-Man. Gen 13 Interactive and the comic version of The Last of Us. And anything else in here? I think maybe a letter? Yes, there's a letter. Huh. Hi, Louis Aviga. I'm writing after finishing up my, my review for a Deke's Knights of the Zodiac, so I feel mentally broken right now. Ha! <laughs> and I need to lift my spirits, and donating sounds nice. Also, I've been meaning to do this for a bit. Anyway, let me start with the comics, which I found at my local Goodwill, oddly enough. Easily the most notable is issue 2 of E-Man, a physics-based superhero. Here, he fights the F-Men, an intensely bad parody of X-Men, like Kitty Porn. K Kitty Porn. Kitty Porn. Not... What? <laughs> Age 13 and a half. As in Kitty Pride. Yeah, I'm not... I'm sorry, it's just Kitty. Why would you... Do I need... I think I need to... What? <laughs> okay, I also included the Ultra Force Spider-Man, an interesting Malibu Marvel crossover, an issue of the Spider-Man manga known for insanity, the first issue of Gen 13 Interactive, where the readers... determined... What happened next? And a comic story for the PS3 game, The Last of Us. Also included is the first fist is the Fist of the North Star movie because it's awesome. And Power Rangers Zeo Full Tilt Battle Pinball for the PS1, one of a few games based on Zeo. Hmm. Should be perfect for streaming material for Lewis, especially since it's Power Rangers. Happy 10 year anniversary, Lewis. I've been doing a lot of doing a similar return to old reviews on my blog, so good luck for the rest of the year, and may you not torture yourself with the extent I just did with Knights of the Zodiac. Maybe one day Vega can get you to go to, can get you to go to a con I go to because I'd love to meet the guy who married a cool gal like Vega. Aww. Regards, George from the land of obscusion. Thank you, George. <laughs> uh, this oh, one, thanks, George. I was emailed about this. A person, a uh, person who created this webcomic called Righteous. Ah. Uh, a greedy corporate analyst contracts a supernatural disease that forces him to help others, and he can't make money for himself anymore. Plus, every time he helps someone, they get it too. Uh, they were asking if I'd be interested in reviewing it at some point. I don't know. Uh, uh, I guess you said yes. Uh, no, I, I said they can feel free to send it to me, but I can't make any promises for anything. Well, now you have it. Yep, thank you so much. Oh. Uh, I have like three from Adam Ozella right here. Three letters. Yeah, Adam, please just send only one at a time, because I, I don't know if there's supposed to be an order for these or something like that. 
Yeah, but we haven't gone in a P.O. box in, or done a P.O. box in how long? Yes, but the thing is, it will get read eventually. It's just, you know, that's why I ask people, that's why I ask people to only send one, because otherwise we get overloaded with stuff. <laughs> And it's a lot, and sometimes... Well, it's time, everyone, for the Adam O Hour, sponsored by Adam O. Especially because Adam... is in Boston. Because Adam sends a lot of stuff in his letter. This is like three or four pages today, right here of just one. Today on the Adam O Show, he talks about... DK3, being a Marvel guy, and, uh... Being from Boston... Yeah, this is this is the problem. It's, it's 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 not that I don't appreciate letters. It's that it's really really long, and we're trying to get through a lot of stuff. Well, just read the highlights. I'm a, I'm I, I don't know what the highlights are. Okay, it's fine. four pages. All right, here's the highlights of Adam on the Adam O show, sponsored by Adam O from Boston. I can't believe you've been doing this for ten years. Hope you make it even further. Highlight. Uh, we'll always want to make a better show than yours. I imagine us doing crossover. Uh, highlight. Uh. Common links we both like. Doctor Who, musicals, Power Rangers. We both agree Holy Terror is the worst comic ever made, so I figured if you do a crossover, I could be the Oculus to your Hercules and Vega to your, your Xena. You want to be Xena? Okay, highlight. I think you would be Xena. Oh, I'm okay with that. Highlight. Discovered Batman Robin movie comic that was changed from the film and Barbara calls... D d d yeah, I long. reviewed that, co that, that comic. Okay. Uh, d d d here's something you and Doug forgot during your Spider-Man 4 crossover. Superman 4. Superman 4. Um, highlight. Uh, uh, something I just discovered. Term Dr. Pep Sergeant Pep Dr. Pepper comic. In your review, he you pointed out Strawberry Fields' parents approved of a new version of the Lonely Hearts Club Band, which was a side of script challenge changing. When the movie doesn't make him sort of sense to discover that her parents like the band, which leads to a very stupid moment in the movie where she leaves Ireland and that her parents, for some reason, Mr. Mustard, Mr. Mustard. Highlight. Um, it was basically DK3, the master race of 2003 to 2006. Highlight, Excelsior. Yeah, I reviewed the first two issues of Dark Knight <laughs> 3 as well. <laughs> All right, t let's go for it. Let's do, it's more, it's time for oh, the Adam O Show. Oh boy, what more highlights do we have? This is Adam O Show, sponsored by Adam O. Come visit the precious Adam O theme park, where there's Adam O um, donuts and Adam O um, oranges. Anyway, time for me, want me to highlight? No. Uh, no, I'm, I'm reading. Why don't you open up another thing real quick here? All right. All right. This is from... I don't know. It doesn't say. But it's... What country is it from? Uh, check the back. They sometimes have the return address on the back. I think this is from Great Britain. Yes. This is from Great Britain. From Britain, we've got a mysterious blank DVD. That is filled with Queen of the Dam, but we're Americans, so we can't play pi pal. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, he wanted to confess to me on this one that he's watched almost every episode of the show, and of course support both of our Patreons. Oh, yes, I've noticed. But I like to be really honest and admit something I haven't been honest with you. Oh, and it's nothing serious or incriminating, inappropriate, or anything like that. So yeah, wipe that sweat off your head. It's okay. But uh, yeah, when I was it. when I was a kid, I made a conscious and big choice to be a lifelong fan of two things: Marvel and DC Comics. They were my two major loves when I was a kid. And it very well followed me into adulthood, to the point when the New 52 happened. I didn't give up on them. Neither did I. I mean, I mean, I, I don't know how this would, how this is supposed to be like a big confession, because I'm still a fan of both Marvel and DC. Yep. Uh, I mean, just because I criticize them doesn't. I mean, I criticize because I love. I used to be more DC, but now I'm more Marvel. So yeah, this may have been a bit weird thing for you to read, but I'd like to say something that I neglected to say on my first letter to you, and Vega, this goes for you too, since I'm now a cup of the show, but you two are officially yep. my favorite internet critics slash shows and people of all time. Aww, if we ever know. If we were ever to meet, I would definitely want to do a crossover, and if you ever need a hand or someone to work off or uh, off of or a stand, I'd gladly do it for 10%. Yeah, I need to eat and live, too. Good. You know, d never, do, never. if you're good at something, don't do it for free. Hell yeah. But, uh, yeah, we don't need any help with anything, but thank you so much. So this letter won't be the last. This is just the beginning. And like the crystal gems of the Doctor, we always find a way, even when people think we can't, because the fans of the world believe in Adam O, Vega, and Linkara. Enough said. And plus, you'll probably meet me eventually if you go to Anime Boston. Hmm. I'm planning on going again. Oh, and then look at this little Batman. He's tiny Batman. And Adamo letter number three. Again, sorry about 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 the fact that Spider Man sucks. Skip through this a bit. It's just there's so much. Okay. Uh, now for time for a commercial break. We got Legacy. We got uh, the cover of Morrow. It kind of fell off this comic. Morrow. Uh, we got. 
tyrant. We got Sonic the comic. And like this big ass, like, Sonic the comic. Ah, we got, yeah. Hey, My Little Pony movie storybook. Uh, Dark and Bloody. Yay. Batman Beyond. Ooh, 2000 AD, the ultimate collection. Ooh, check that out. Show that off to the camera better. Yeah. Look that, check that out. Can't wait to crack that one open. Most of this one is about him going to Anime, uh, anime Boston, 2018. Oh, cool. So, but he has a bunch of questions, so wait, we'll do you were at Anime Boston 2018? Yep. Why did you say hi? I was doing, like, I was a featured panelist, and I did all this other stuff, and you weren't there, and I'm like, that's good. Say hi. Yep. Now I'm sad. Adam O disappointed me. This show is no longer sponsored. <laughs> what comic do you consider to be the best ever made? For me, that would be Infinity Gauntlet since it flows and feels like a timeless classic. Uh, best comic ever made is JLA slash Titans The Technus Imperative or Mr. T and the T-Force number two. Hmm. Uh, for my, like, best comic ever, ma ever made? I don't have a best, like, a choice for best comic ever made, but I have my personal favorites. For Vega, I saw so many cosplayers get wet while I was at the Fan Expo since it was raining. Has weather ever slowed you down before? Uh, no, but I don't know. It did make me, like, rethink what I was wearing that day to go to a convention. Sorry, it wasn't Anime Boston. It was Boston Fan Expo. Oh, okay. That's different. Yeah. Uh, I found a comic that is so worth making an episode about. It is the 1982 comic adaptation of the movie Annie. The musical is not the comic strip, which to me feels like a complete joke since that movie is trash. Does that sound like something you review? And also, it's a Marvel super special. Maybe. I've never actually seen Annie It's in, in its entirety. I just the know. The sun will come out. Tomorrow, yeah, I just know Bet tomorrow. Your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. For I Vigo. loved that movie as a kid. For Vigo, what idol show do you consider the worst? Oh, Love Doll, Love Doll episode. I think it was episode ten or eleven. I no, it was episode at least eleven or twelve that I talked about Love Doll and Lemon Angel Project because they came out around the same time. Love Doll is complete crap. Love Doll is the worst of any Moe series. Girl series, idol series, romantic, like, um, harem-like comedy. Basically, it's everyone wants to screw the manager, and all the girls talk about nothing but, I'm a girl who wants to screw the manager. Let's sing some more. And nobody's charismatic. There's no one that stands out. They all look like the same. Like, you know how anime characters, they usually look alike, but except their hair? This one's even worse. Like, worse when it came to that and it had that 2006 kind of moe girl style that you know like that ao shiamata style from shuffle type of shit which i hate his art style you know like shuffle Ugh. and uh, just worst idol it's the worst show i ever had to drag myself to watch Ugh. Did you know there are comics based on the movie Waterworld, and would you consider reviewing them? You eh. should watch Waterworld. That's the thing. I mean, Waterworld was considered like some, one of the worst movies ever made back in the day, but honestly, it's just that it was just overbloated and overblown. I, I think it's like it's bad, but it's fun bad for me. I legit like just laughing at it. <laughs> Whatever. Also, I got my little pony socks. For Vega, as while I was at the expo, I overheard a panel of the Steven Universe cast list some of su some Crystal Gem superhero names, and I heard this one, Super Pearl. What do you think? Eh, could be better. Just her name, but with Super in front eh, of it. could be better. Have you considered reviewing the two-part adaptation of Predator 2? Because that movie is the most violent film I've ever seen, and I feel the comic is no different. Oh boy, you need to see more movies. <laughs> But I love Predator too, so I would love to uh, review it. Uh, for Vega, who is the number one anime voice actor you would want to meet? Uh, mm. Hmm, this is hard because I've kind of already met Aya Hirano. And I didn't get to meet Paku Romi, but I went to one of her uh, panels where she was at Otakon. Um, yeah, and plus I'm not really into dubs that much, and I met a lot of dub actors just being around at cons, but I'm not really big into dubs. I did meet, like, I was fangirling over Lisa Ortiz, though, because that's classic for me when I was an early fan watching anime. She was doing, like, a ton of voices. And Tiffany Grant's a really cool person. Uh, I think when it comes to uh, Seiyu, though, probably anyone from Love Live and Aqua and, Aqua, Aqua, and upcoming uh, Nijisaki High School Idol Club. So, yeah. There you go. Uh, 
why didn't you burn Future's End? Because I understand why you didn't burn the Sgt. Pepper comic, because the comic itself is rare and probably was expensive to get. Actually, I'm pretty sure it was donated to me. Uh, uh, my copy of the Sgt. Pepper comic. The reason why I didn't burn Futures End or the Sgt. Pepper comic is very simple. They're not bad enough. I mean, look at the ones that I've burned in the past. Yeah, but if you ever have to do Secret Empire, you should burn it. Probably, yeah. Yeah, like we we can make a fire pit in the backyard. For me, guy, I've heard my peers say that Avatar: The Last Airbender should be given a second chance as a movie and made into a franchise. However, I disagree with them. Are you with me on this? Yes, I am with you on that. For both of you, what is the weirdest dream you've ever had? I had a dream last night that, like, Lewis was yelling at Malcolm and then yelling at me and then yelling at something else. And Lewis came in because he, like, has a weird sleep schedule. And I'm half asleep and I'm like, Lewis. And I heard him coming into the room. I was like, Lewis, why are you, why are you, why are you yelling, yelling at Malcolm? At Malcolm? <laughs> why are you yelling at people? This is Malcolm Ray, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm Why are that. you yelling at people? It's just, that was like last night and this I morning. I wasn't yelling at anyone. And you, were, you, came in the, you came in the room to close the window and get into bed. And I'm just like, Lewis, why are you yelling? You're so mean. I'm mad at you. And I was half asleep. So I thought the dream realm and the real realm was like blending at this point. So I was just like mad at Lewis because he was mean. And it was just a, all a dream. I wasn't mean. You yelled at everyone in that dream. You were just yelling at people left and right. And you just made everyone sad. And that was my dream. I don't want to yell at anybody. Otherwise, my weirdest dream is uh, probably the time I was like running from Big Bird on some scaffolding. I can never remember my weird dreams. <laughs> uh, so as always, bye for now in Excelsior, Adamo. Thank you, Adam. That is the end of the Adam O Show, sponsored by Adam O, brought to you by Adam O Motors, Adam O Cereal, and Adam O's. Please wait b between PO unboxings, only send one at a time. <laughs> if, you, if you want the full letter read, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I got it. Speaking of letters, here's one from DMC27. How are you two? I'm cool. I'm good. Um, DMC27 here, with more things for you both. Here's some things I'm sending to you. Hope you enjoyed the previous single set, like 2018's Ballad of Hollow Jones, written by Alan Moore. Three parts of the Marvel Cosmic Powers that featuring Michael Douglas, Murdering Space Time, and Thanos. A pair of Spider-Man rocks and a UK 10 pence. There's some more stuff in here? Might be in a separate package. Oh. Well, I'm gonna get, um, get to some... Uh, stuff, other stuff he's saying. Have either of you played Final Fantasy VI? Nope. I, I sadly haven't. I haven't started the Final Fantasy playing till like seven. So putting that yeah. in the Switch though, Andy. Oh, um, it's seven, nine, X and X two, and I'm not sure about uh six. Uh, but yeah, uh, best one of the best video games I ever made. One of my friends agrees with you. Hmm. There was even a version of the game featured at MOPs called Pony Fantasy. Play it below. Here are screenshots. Well, I'm off to drink some ultra-violent monster energy drink. Please don't drink too much of that. It's bad for you. And I hope I don't turn into an ultra-violent lantern. Poor Jon Stewart. My favorite Green Lantern is Guy Gardner. Yes. Honey Britches is, isn't best pony. Spike is. Eh, I'll deal with it. Uh, Vigo was funny last time. I don't like Spike. Spike drop. Take care. <laughs> Thank you, DMC. I got, uh, there was no name oh, on this one. Here's the other thing he was talking about. We got some pence. We got, hey, 50 pence. So British British currency? Yeah. And uh, 10 pence. Hmm. And this little Batman kinder toy. All right. Ooh. There was no name on this one at all on the packaging. Huh. We got uh, Hellstorm, Prince of Vengeance, probably Damien, Damien Hellstorm. Mm -hmm. uh, Apocalypse in Waco, a true crime special. Oh, dear. That After sounds... Cannon Thunderbolt. Oh. I'm not sure if I want to read a Waco comic. Yeah. John Burns, Next Men. Fathom, Blue Descent. Ultraverse, Hard Case versus Turf. Hmm. And three superhero spectaculars uh, that are in uh, poly bags. I don't know what the hell they are. Hmm. But guaranteed in each one. Two count value pack, superhero and superhero edition. Guarantee no duplication of books. One free bonus superhero trading card in every bag. But does it have a Mr. T trading card? I think not. You know it doesn't, hon. Never does. It never does, mm -hmm. except for Mr. T comic book. Anyway, Benjamin Hayden, he sent a Blu-ray disc of Batman vs. Two-Face. I want to watch that at some point. It's William Shatner playing Two-Face because it's, it's animated because it's a sequel to uh, Return of the Cape Crusader. Yes, and we have it. 
Leo Lewis, I'm sorry for sending you this Blu-ray movie in a different package. I wanted to send it with the rest of the items I sent you in the last package, but it was on back order. Now, while I do know that you are not a fan of the animated DC comic movies that came out on DVD and Blu-ray, you might like to take a look at the, this animated Batman movie that came out last year, starring Adam West as the voice of Batman and Star Trek's William Shatner as the voice of Two-Face. What makes this movie interesting is this was the very last movie Adam West made before he passed away, and is loosely based on an episode script from the 1966 Batman TV series that was going to guest star William Shatner as Two-Face before the show was cancelled. It even has a secret Easter egg in the Blu-ray special features menu starring a 1966 version of Harley Quinn. Nice. I hope you like this movie, and if I find any more animated DC Comics movies that I think you might like, I will send them to you. Sincerely, Benjamin Hayden. Thanks, Thank Benjamin. You. Uh, this one doesn't have a name where it came from, except it came from Texas. Hmm. So this is the 9-11 uh, report. Yay. If you ever review this, you have to be very, 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 very... Serious about it. Why would I review it? I don't know. It's September. It's only September thir 14th. Why, why would I review that? I don't know, Lewis. They sent it to you for that purpose. Why, why would I review that? I don't know. Why would you? I don't. I wouldn't. Anyway, it is September and it does enter everyone's minds where they were that day. Many threads and hashtags and stuff like that has was around three days ago about it being the 17th anniversary. We have not forgotten. This was oh, order... And Bruce Wayne murderer? Yeah, that was a whole storyline. <laughs> anyway, this is a bunch of manga. Oh, uh, yay, ma Love Rue. Two Love Rue. Yeah, I got like one and two and another thing in the back. Yuna and the Haunted Hot Springs. I still haven't even started this anime or manga. But to love rude darkness. No, uh, no parents. Presumably. Ah, <laughs> uh, to love rude. You're just from love Ra. Uh, Louis. <laughs> no. Anyway, this is from Chicago. Powell Books, Chicago, and it's Wolfenstein. Yo, Wolfenstein, we like killing Nazis. Woot. Anything else like a letter? Nope. <laughs> the original FPS. <laughs> I played Wolfenstein, the original Wolfenstein, when I was a kid. That was good stuff, especially fighting Cyborg Hitler. Mm. I mean, I mind you, I'm pretty sure they uh, they censored it for the American version of it. Look, I don't care about Monster Musume. But but Lewis Sweetie. doesn't care about Monster Musume. But Sweetie, there's a Spider Girl with boobs. I can't even show the back of this. But, but of boobs. Monster Musume. Breasts are a thing that women have. I don't care about the slime girl. I don't care about the the girl with wings on her butt or, or whatever. I don't care about snake chick. I don't care Hot about... Hot tub slime machine says on the back. Let me just cover this. I don't care about whoever this girl is. But sweetie... I don't care about whoever spider girl is. There's no actual nudity. Therefore, it's okay. Gwen. I don't care about everyday life with monster girls. I don't care about... The fact that there's eight of these, I don't have anyone else to say I don't care about visually, so I'm just going to put it in here. So anyway, this is a click and ship from Edward F. Matuski. Just, just, just. Uh, and this is a card thing. It's the Tarot of Brass and Steam. Oh, cool. I love what, card games. What if Tesla hadn't been stopped? What if Edison was a deal-making deadful? What if... What if advanced steam power technology spread to every corner of the globe at the end of the 19th century? What would a tarot deck from such a world look like? Immerse yourself in the tarot of brass and steam, a borderless oversized 78 card, 42 illustrated, steampunk themed deck and find out. Oh, I always wanted my own set of tarot cards. So yay, my first set. Now I can finally learn how to tarot pretty much. Hey Lewis and Kara, a few years ago you very nicely retweeted my Kickstarter for the Steampunk Tarot Brass and Steam. Well, I finally finished the project, in large part thanks to everyone who helped get the word out about the Kickstarter. As a token of my gratitude, here's a copy of the completed deck for you to enjoy, slash regift, slash feed this to the Cybermat. Love your show, keep being awesome, and thanks again from Ed Matuski. Thanks, man. I see your Blake 7 love and raise you one the Cage cosplay. Very cool. Hmm. Anyway, this came from uh, All Home USA doesn't have a name, but I think you'll like this. Close your eyes. Yo. Open your eyes. Open my eyes. Yo! It is a Stargate SG-1. Uh, 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 what's it called? A Death Glider. That's right. Okay. Death Glider with a Jaffa. 
It's like a Lego one. Yeah, it's, it's one of those uh, uh, best lock construction toys. So. AKA, we're not Lego, don't sue us. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> This will be good when I, uh, I'm planning on reviewing a Stargate comic next year. Might not be SG-1 related. There were a few comics that were spinoffs of the movie that had nothing at all to do with the actual TV series. So it's something for me to complain about because SG-1 is so good. All right. So this one doesn't... Oh, my. Sex and fun. Sex is fun. Oh. Creative ideas for exciting sex. Uh, I'm not sure if I could show You can show that on the cover. I don't know. Do you really want to risk it? It's fully censored. I know, but... Fine. Sex is fun. It really is. Anyway, illustrated other, like, illustrated fun. Oh, my. Yes, given instru instructive visuals that we definitely can't show. Give your partner a target. I gotta draw Let's, a target on you, I guess. Put something fun in your ass. I mean, mouth. Sorry. Read your partner an erotic story. Okay, uh, how to time your orgasm for fun and profit. I, I'm curious about the profit part of that. You've never been on uh, sexy streams? I mean, I haven't. you never seen cam girls and cam boys? I mean, I could do it, but I don't think YouTube would allow that. Some people love the taste of... While others, not so much. Tell your partner when you are getting close to ejaculating. <laughs> oh my. Uh, use... Watch pornography with your partner. Use a new sex toy on your partner. Use your non-general attributes. If you use your imagination, you can find lots of ways to be intimate with your partner, even if you can't have intercourse. I mean, I would kind of, like, kind of call those genital attributes. I like, I like that move. Yeah, yeah, that's a very good move. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should. Yeah. I think we need to stop the PO unboxing okay. for some uh, research. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yep. Yeah, sorry. Uh, let's do the X-rated stuff. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Yes. Uh, Honey, uh. Lewis. Ah. Uh. Okay. Put it. Put it your clothes. It, it, they're done. There. Okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> while you look over that some more, yes. I have one from uh, Jacqueline Erickson. Oh, I want you to wear this. You want me to wear a tie? That's not what I'm pointing at, but okay. <laughs> uh, hey, Linkara, I know this comic I'm donating is probably way outside your genres of your normal. Mm. Here, take a look at that. Ooh. Is this manga? Uh, oh. Normal comic fair, but I thought I'd send it anyway because I've never been so, so baffled by something in my life. I'm used to reading niche, strange comics, but despite my efforts, I cannot discern what the heck exactly happened in this plot. I'm not 100% sure you could actually make an episode of this thing, but take a look, and good luck. Thanks, Jackie. So what is this exactly? Muzz? Well, this is a pretty standard uh, setup right here. Yeah. This is what my friend does, what I told you about. <laughs> uh, Farley is on the train to Muzz, a place where ideas go when the creators lose interest in them or die. But Farley is not one of the ideas. She's human, and though she has no memory of Muzz, she is more important to it than she knows. Hmm. There's a whole section on cosplay, too. Although it's just costume, but you could apply that to cosplay. Pretty much. Anyway, thank you, Jackie. Honestly, honestly, I would recommend uh, Ojoy Sex Toy from Erica Moen, and I forgot her husband's name, it, as a really good, like, comic about sex and other things because it also talks about relationships talks about sexuality talks about uh examples from all sorts of different kinks i definitely recommend ojoy sex toy but this looks like a pretty good beginner book and i do like how it also has like gay and lesbian representation but i don't know there's a lot more out there than just the standard stuff that's in this book like it's pretty much like my first kink book I'm sorry, I'm just thinking Fisher Price by first kink book. <laughs> just a uh, Transformers comic, Dawn of the Predicus from eBay. Anyway, I got really distracted by that book. Whoever sent it definitely knows their audience. <laughs> okay, this one is a really big bag for this. This is from uh, just Fairpoint Toys and Collectibles. It's Bad Boy by Frank Miller and Simon Beasley. Yay! The art on the front cover reminds me of... Uh, Chucky. Uh, this is a digital download of Suicide Squad Hell to Pay from uh, Roland Allard. And I think there's a teeny, tiny note. Uh, to Lou and B, here's a bonus, a digi slip of Suicide Squad Hell to Pay. Oh. Probably, it might be a part of another letter. But thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, this is from Svetlana Chirac, and it's, uh, oh, Golden Kamui, which was 
pretty well talked about. Like, everyone was talking about when this show was on. I think it's still going right now. But I haven't read the manga or anything. Oh, thank you. Here's a bookmark for you to enjoy this book even more. And there's a little manga. They did a manga drawing. Yay. Okay, thank you so much for Golden Kamui. I do not have that in my collection. Thank you. I'm going to close this up in a second here. Well, can you hold this for a second? Oh, wow. This is filled with books. Yep. I ain't sure showing those off. All right. I think there was there's a, a lot of stuff in here. You're being good. Did you the King R... Our King did K you rule. the King K rule and Simon Belmont tra trailer from? Oh, did I see it? Yeah. Yes. I also support Zidane for Final Fantasy IX. Yes, I do. Anyway, Dong and Ropa, the manga, which oh my god, all my friends were going off on this. I just never got into Dong and Ropa. Uh, oh my god, hell yeah, Cutie Honey. You want to learn about some of the original Magical Girls? Well, Cutie Honey is the first transforming one. Cutie Honey is legendary. Cutie Honey got boobies. Okay, so why don't you put that in here then? Fuck you! I care about Cutie Honey! I, I care thought, about Cutie Honey! I thought I was your Cutie Honey. No, you are not my Cutie Honey. You are my Captain Harlock. Okay, I'll take that. I mean, Captain Harlock. Also, hell yeah, these collections. I've been wanting these for a while. Hell yeah, Captain Harlock. Oh, and, uh, ooh, Lost Legends, four new uh, Gravity Falls adventures. Hmm. Uh, let's see, there's also Street Fighter 2, the manga. Nice, been a Street Fighter fan pretty much most of my life. And, oh, Cucumber Crest 3. I got, like, the first two up in there, so yay. Now I got more Cucumber Quest. I haven't got around to uh, collecting more. Dear Linkara, what do you think about Gambit and Ro Roge Rouge Rogue. getting married? They spell it, yeah, they spell it Rouge. Uh, that was terrible. Just marry Kitty Pride and Colossus like they're supposed to. That was dumb. It's like the bait and switch with, with Batman and Catwoman's wedding. Ah, uh, sigh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is from Gary Doggall. Frank Miller's Robocop. Frank Miller's Robocop. Got to Robert that at some Cop. Point. Robert Cop. <laughs> I know someone whose last name is Robert Cop. Like full last name? Yeah. Is Robert Cop? Yeah. Your name's Steve Robert Cop? Something like that, yeah. Hmm. Back when I did speech team, I, I always feel bad for, for kids with with unfortunate last names. Back in Like yours? What? Like yours, Lewis? Yes. Like yours, Lewis Lovehog? Yes, but mine is just, you know, standard school schoolyard taunting. They were kids, those poor kids, a brother and sister whose last name was Hitler. Oh, dear God. H-I-T-T-L-E-R. Like, two T's. There was a bus driver on, like, when I when we were long distance and I would come up from Chicago, there was a bus driver named Adolf. Oh. Who had the mustache. Oh, I got a review copy of Go Go Power Rangers. This is not for resale. Yes, do not resell that. From Simon and, Simon and Schuster, so I'm assuming this is part of the Boom Studios deal. Yep. So I don't think it's out yet, honey. No, I'm pretty sure this is out by now. I mean, this is this was probably a few months ago. Anyway, I'm opening something from John Dale James, which is a pretty nice name. John Dale James. And they sent... Yeah! Scooby-Doo team up with Swamp Thing! Yo! Still doing do Scooby-Doo comics. Yep. Ah, Scooby-Doo. Where, Where are, are you? you? Jinx. Jinx. I got there first. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. <coughs> yes, I did. I pinched you. I got there pinch. first. You did not you. get pinch you. Are you okay? Are you okay? My hat. <laughs> your, hat your hat has an, effect, has an offensive barrier. I'm sorry. It's okay. It didn't hurt me. <laughs> I love you. I love you. All right, what do we got here? Uh, there is no name on this, just an address. Well, uh, Amazon sent us screenwriting screenplays that sell. A complete guide. Is this is this a is this a subtle thing for, yes. for for the movie? I think it's a subtle thing that will get you in a direction of you know really, I don't know, writing for other things. You know, being my... a big writer. In Hollywood. Why would I want to be in Hollywood? Have you you watch <laughs> oh Bojack, God. right? <laughs> Why in God's name would I want to be in that place? By the way, we are binging BoJack 
Yeah, yeah we have Mar- we've gone through how many like four or five episodes now? Yeah, of, of, the, of, new, of the new season, which the, just premiered today. The new season came out like last night. We stayed up just to watch the first episode, and we binged four more episodes today. Oh man, we love BoJack, but this will be interesting to read through. If not, just for personal growth in terms of our both of our own writings. We got uh, the Lone Ranger, uh, Free Comic Book Day, Burt Ward, Boy Wonder. Bird Ward Boy Wonder. The Misadventures of Adam West. Adam West. I think Fez was supposed to work Adam on part of this. West. Adam West. Uh, Adam Bob's West. Burgers. Ooh, I love Bob's Burgers. You Blondie. Really? Oh, wow. That's still going? Apparently. Moon Cop. They're a cop on the moon. And Bongo Comics Free for All. Nice. Anyway, this came from Habitat for Humanity Charlotte. Thank you, uh, Charlotte. That's a long name you got. Big guy and rusty. I'm glad that that's, that's an actual comic because I was thinking when I first saw the name of that, it's like, is this one of those tourism things we, we I, that I've started throwing away? Nope. But yeah, big guy and rusty the boy robot. I didn't know it was a comic uh, when I was growing up because I watched a show yeah. on Fox. Apparently <laughs> the comic is a bit different. It's still generally the same thing from what I understand, but yeah. But yeah, they always change things when they make stuff like that into cartoons. But yeah, I, I loved the cartoon when I was younger. One of the one of the more decent, more recent uh, Frank Miller things. The big guy and Rusty. Ah. Comes from us from Michael B. English. It's another huge one. He be English, yo. He he not be American. Yeah. This is oh. Oh wow. Oh, unfortunately, it's falling apart. Oh no! It probably like got messed up in shipping. It's uh the Bronze Age Omnibus of Teen Titans. Sorry. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, uh... I'm sorry, got shipping. Yeah, the, uh... Yeah, the liner kind of got... We can glue that. Yeah, uh, well, we can glue this. It's just, it's just unfortunate, because, yeah, this thing is huge. Yeah. They'll just need some hot glue and some weight on it to make sure it sticks. Yeah. But, yeah, it's, it's salvageable. Yeah, thank you so much, Michael. I think there's a letter or anything in here. Yeah. Because, of course, you know, it's always nice to have Teen Titan stuff. Okay, what was this from? It doesn't say a Lone Star Comics. Yep. Yeah. So a big batch from Lone Star. They're comics all around eBay. Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo team up. Injustice versus Masters in the Universe. That's our theme this time around. It's all the Looney Tunes and Hanna Barbera crossover stuff. Scooby Doo team up. For the too record, I'm groups. probably not going to review this anytime soon. Aside from the fact that it's too soon to do up. them, I just have very little interest in these team ups. Krusty the Clown. Isn't that, didn't Bongo stop doing Simpsons comics? Or what they stop doing? I don't know did what they else have they... the last, did they stop doing Simpsons comics or comics? I don't know. I don't know, I heard something about Bongo. Or is it, was it like Sonic comics? I don't remember. <laughs> anyway, Scooby-Doo team up. Archie stopped doing Sonic comics. Scooby-Doo team up. And, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. And, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. And Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't care about Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> You gotta say it like I do with Monster Musume. I don't care about Blue Hedgehog. I don't care about this fox with too many tails. What are you, from a kitsune? I don't care about this pink clone of this Blue Hedgehog. I don't care about this egg guy. What the hell? Why Robotnik. did you name? His name's not Robotnik, it's Eggman now. Eggman. I don't, <laughs> I don't care about his mustache. So anyway, what do you care about? This thing from Shinya Fukawa. Oh, he drew on the thing. Hey, Vigo, what about... Uh, cover up the... Uh, the oh, I'm not showing it. I'm not showing it. Vigo, would you care about... <laughs> Shut your damn mouth. No, I was saying you should cover it up so you can show it off to the camera. Oh. <laughs> Shut your goddamn mouth. Hashtag, Hashtag I, don't I don't support, support domestic support. abuse. I do. <laughs> well, yeah, thank you so much. It's adorable. What do you think about Honey Bridge's Pony? Ah, no! Ah! <laughs> this is abuse! Domestic abuse! It's tickling! It doesn't no. count! Yes, it does! No, it does! No, it's no, tickling! No, it doesn't no, count! No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it back in return! Ah! I trapped! <laughs> I mean, that works, too. <laughs> anyway, are we gonna actually show off what is what they sent us? No, because hashtag de- <laughs> hashtag how to support domestic abuse. This is horrible. That that's our episode title. No, Hasht- it's not. We are not making that the episode title. 
No. <laughs> anyway, we got a letter here. I'll read that while right. you uh, check out these. Uh, and, uh, thing there. Ooh. Dear Lewis and Cara, is the mic on? Jeffrey Lovehog, the check first out, Esquire check senior. Check out this art. Fancy hat of a top fourth wall and Vega idols of Honey Bridges Pony anime. Ooh. That's more of that too. Now that joke's out of the way, it's me, Shinya, again. I'm back with more comic book goodies again with more extreme <laughs> super special gifts and crappy <laughs> artworks. I am Cornholio. I need TP for my bunghole. Yes. <laughs> anyway, uh... Before that, this year's top four episodes have been really fun. I especially enjoyed the JLA slash Avengers review and Just Imagine Stanley created Green Lantern review. I love the tree puns in that one. I really loved how that episode turned out. I was also surprised you made a second to top the fourth wall movie. The Future's End review, and that was a mouthful. This is a bunch of drunk lapis going around. Why don't you share this on, like, Tumblr, dude? Because I need to reblog this. But I can't because it's a paper. I don't, uh, I wouldn't count, I count long reviews as movies, but, you know, just long. <laughs> uh, I'm in, and as of this letter, I'm enjoying your summer long box so far. Vega, unfortunately, I haven't been up to date with your stuff, but that means I get to binge watch it later. I'll be looking forward to that kind of madness Japan has to offer. Oh my god, I just realized what this is. So, the art is by Yamino, but this is an autograph from Amethyst! As in... Damn, what's her full name? Michaela something. Show it off. Ah! Die, 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 ski! Now for the gifts. First, I won't mention that super duper secret special ultra chicken deluxe surprise gift unless you either immediately find it before you read this letter. I got it when I met her in Boston this year, and mine... And mind you as well, gets to get something cool for you two. Also met Neil Adams and had him signed by Mr. T in the T-Force comic. Though in retrospect, I managed to meet all four of them, but budget and I never thought I could personally meet them in like a few hours. <gasps> Next are some comics. I got I'm you... I'm framing this and I'm putting it on my... So in my office, I have this like purple shelf filled with all purple things. It's also the... It says Amethyst is purple. Amethyst and Twilight Sparkle and a bunch of other things is major in there. I'm going to frame this so this is over and put it on my purple shelf. I should take a pic so I could tweet my purple shelf with this. Because, oh my god, 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 oh my god. I got you Destroyer number one because the cover looks epic and half of it was drawn by Steve Ditko. Fantastic Four number 369 because remember, when women become evil, their body temperature will increase so you wear as, le as less clothing as possible. Let's keep this safe. But if you're a dude, temperature would decrease, so you wear as many dark clothing as you can to attract more heat from the sun. I put it next to this Destroyer comic in the thing, and I'm putting this over here so it'll be safe from anything. Speaking of heat, I also got more issues of heat. The, then comes the greatest hero of all time, Sprocket Man! Heat. <laughs> Sprocket Man, burning out his fuse up here alone. Brother of Bicycle Repair Man. And finally, the first issue of Extreme X-Men! However, my major complaint of this comic is that the artwork is not extreme enough. I demand extreme artwork when the title of the comic has the word extreme in them. Zero out of ten, worst comic ever. Also, I threw in a crappy print of Batman fighting Catwoman that I drew and more drunk lapis because Vega seemed to enjoy it. Oh, man. You, why don't you put those, like, somewhere so I can share them? <laughs> well, I feel like I should have drawn some pony, especially the, one, the ones that britches honey. Speaking of which, that was lacking in the sixth season of Our Tiny Horses. I'm, gonna hel I'm going to Helquestria, aren't I? Before we end the slider, I just have just two questions. <laughs> One, what do you think of Frankie Pooh's Daredevil Born Again? I personally like that comic. I never actually read Daredevil Born Again. Hmm. Frankie Pooh. Second, what's your opinion on the Dollar Bill one shot in, uh, in Before Watchmen? Never read any of Before Watchmen. Not planning to. Pro uh, I'm probably going to get requested at some point. Yeah. Uh, the Dollar Bill one-shot was one of the few prequels that I enjoyed, mainly because I'm always fascinated by generic characters given a backstory, and this was pretty decent in my opinion. I don't get the hate in that comic, and I feel like people are just expecting too much from that one-shot when it's not trying to take itself seriously. Well, in my case, I don't want any prequels or sequels to Watchmen, or at least I didn't. Nowadays, I don't care anymore. I'm too old to care about that. We're getting at that age where fan rage is just... I'm too old for fan rage. Hmm. I don't have the same fire because I'm old and jaded and I don't care. And honestly, the first six issues of uh, uh, Doomsday Clock have not been terrible. Mm. They're clearly putting their work, their, their effort into it. That's all for now. Hope you two enjoy the gifts I sent you. In return... I do! Lewis, just keep cranking out more reviews whenever it's more convenient. You gotta get more Mr. T. And Vega, stay awesome. I am! 
from Shinya Fu Fu uh, Fukawa Fukawa. Thank you, Shinya Fukawa. <laughs> anyway, this is from Angelo Misery, yes, thank you which so I really like your name because like. <sighs> I should make a fictional character with that name, and it's like he's Angelo Misery. He fights supernatural demons, and he's suave, and but he has an Achilles heel. Pudding. It's it's a work in progress. Anyway, they sent us some pins. It looks like homemade pins. Hey, this is the guy who made those pins you brought home. Yep. Yeah, I got those. Pin uh, I love the pin that you made for me. By the way, I have it upstairs. I should have brought it down to show it off, but. Yeah, they make, like, oh, here's a Vash one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a uh, Toon Grin. Yeah, and there's a, like, Helsing guy. I forget his name. Uh, Helsing. Mr. Oh. Popo. Yeah. I'm, what the hell? Yeah, Mr. Popo. <laughs> oh, Toon Grin, yeah. Oh, here's one with a tentacle heart. And. <sighs> That's Jinx. Uh. And War Grimmon. And just a bunch of characters here. Like, there's tons. Yep. Anyway, I like the one you made for me that I have upstairs. And I should have brought it down to show it off because it was awesome. Thank you. Hmm. Uh, anything else in this bag? Let me check. In that bag? I'm not sure. I think there's a letter. There is a letter. Yep. We have got a letter. I wonder who it's from. Uh, we got some... Uh, uh, bookmarks there. Wait, hold those. Oh, cool. Bookmarks. Show those off. I will write out my problems. <laughs> Dear Louis Amigo, we hope you two are doing well and that Louis has ride back from Con Bravo with a safe journey. Stop. Hero time. We gifted Lewis quite a few buttons with kawaii styles of his cast members, and we hope Vega liked hers as well. Yes. We, however, missed a major up-and-coming character, and so we closed in this package. We finished a kawaii version of Moarte. Aww. We hope you enjoy the gifts, and we like to easily do some cross-branding, like a top of fourth wall and Toon Grin reviewing a comic books movie, and we'd easily handle the editing to cut Lewis a break, because we know how hard he works in the show and his storyline elements. Warm regards, Taylor Wyatt and Angelo Mazzari, co-founders of Toon Grin. Ah, but, thank you, Toon Grin. Yep, crossovers are hard for me to manage nowadays, but I would not necessarily be against it. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, thank you so much. And I got a whole crap ton of stuff here from uh, Roland Allard. I think that uh, this is the stuff he was talking about in his uh, uh, letter. All right. Hey, Discord box. Look at this box. To Lou and V, Lewis, congratulations on reaching 500 episodes of your show. Late to the party, better late than never. For this package, more comic book donations, more MLP swag, mm -hmm. and for a bonus, loot crate goodies. If that Thanos shirt is a little big, you can uh, either shrink it in the wash or just donate the shirt wow. to Goodwill. It's 5L, man. 5XL, yeah. That, it's, that's it's, We would swim in this. Yeah. That, that's oh, a God. blanket for me. Yeah, this is this is what you know those like shirts girls wear after they like totally just had sex with their partner and yep. they just like wear their shirt. This is like the shirt. This would be that shirt in our relationship. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll probably end up giving that to Goodwill. Either way, I still won't have a problem with it. Time for Q and A. Linkara, what did the MMPR reboot had? What the last two Power Rangers films lacked? Spirit's Vengeance. Uh, I. Couldn't say it for certain. It was different. Spider Men. Vigo, what did you really think of the MLP 100th episode? And do you think the episode received way too much flack? I thought it was really fun. I didn't see any big problem with it. I wonder why people hated it. Yeah, you might be like, oh, the kid are fans. But it's like, that was the point of the episode. That was the one episode where they did that. It was the 100th episode. And I don't know. It just was funny, stupid, hilarious, LMZ. Uh. Goodbye, good night, and I'm out of here, Roland. Thank you, Roland. Batman and Tarzan. Got uh, more Violator little, my little pony. Bad Rock. Collectible card game. Ah, cool. Hey, I love this little uh, pen <laughs> of like of Applejack looking all like, why the hell you dress me up as a princess? Dark crystal note card. I'm thinking that's from the loot box. Ooh. Loot crate, whatever. <laughs> uh, Joker mask. Free comic book day for Shattered Grid. And a bunch of comics, including, yeah, the loot pin for Loot Crate. Yeah. What was the loot pin? It was a grail. Ugh. Oh, it's the grail. Batman vs. Predator. Batman vs. Predator 2. Infestation Volume 1. I have this already, but thank you. I did a long box on it. I think I have this one, too. Infestation Volume 2. And then, in now, what I don't have is some issues of Infestation 2. So, thank you very much for those. A few of those. Yeah, Yeah, sorry, I'm having to toss them a bit aside because the box is full. Yeah. Justice League and Power Rangers, which I'm pretty sure I have 
uh, the trade for already, but thank you so much. Anyway, Ooh. yeah, thank you. Eh? What is... I think it's white out. Yeah. Okay, I just wasn't sure, because I'm like, did someone send us their spooge and... <laughs> yeah, I know, that's white out. I can just... Okay. I was like... Uh... Okay, so... Yeah, by the way, if any, yeah, don't don't do that. Yes. This is not uh last week tonight. <laughs> yeah, no. Have you seen that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is from James Faraci. My name is James Faraci, aka the internet reviewer known as James Faraci, the last of the Americans. A A A K A A K A. That jackass who wanted to unionize internet reviewers the same way the Associated Press is unionized. During a trip with my niece to a discount outlet, I found several comics to my liking and hope you could use them for future reviews. However, since I have the memory of a god, uh, to have the memory God gave a brainless house uh, house rat, I have forgotten what most of them are. I know there's a Spider-Man comic, a comic across the pond, and some others. One being a black and white comic on the incident with James, uh, David Caress and his cult down in Waco. Oh, so we already opened that. Yeah. Hope these comics find you in good shape and good health. Many of these comics can be used as review fodder or sent elsewhere, so someone else can deal with them. Your, uh. I also want to plug and give a shout out to my friends Chris Lee, aka Rowdy C of the TV Trash, and star of the internet sitcom Rowdy and Friends. My associates, who associates who I hope you and former Channel Awesome as contributors can be found welcome at Manic Expression. And finally, to Julia Alexa Miller and everyone at Validus Productions for home of the amazing series Life as a Mermaid and Witch Heaven, Haven, a friend and fan forever, James Pralachi. Thank you. Thank you, James. This is from Charles Wright. She gave us a. Uh... Pokemon coin for Team Plasma. Ah, oh, cool. Check it out. Yo, this is me, Guy. I hope you guys are having a great day and it doesn't take three months for this to get opened in an appeal box. It did. I found your channel by watching your History of Power Rangers videos and gotten your comic reviews from there. I'm the guy who sent you those Marvel cards about a year ago. Thanks to you, I started watching other former Channel Awesome producers like Phalus and the Dom. Uh, I can't wait until your next History of Power Rangers videos. I find it funny how you mentioned in Dino Charge how it would look weird using the Go Buster suits, but it is now the next season to be adapted into Power Rangers. How was I supposed to know they would do that? That's the first time they've ever, er, you know, done that before. Rick and Morty. Along with this letter, I've included a Pokemon coin with Team Plasma insignia on it. I thought you could use it to... Yeah, don't put it in the box anymore. It's full. <laughs> Just stack them. <laughs> uh, included a Pokemon coin I thought you could use to enhance the Arsenal of Freedom with Neoplasma or something. Just don't make it glitter. Question time. What do you think about Hasbro buying Power Rangers and Saban shutting down? I honestly don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Oh, Creo Star Trek. Uh, uh, where did you get the Infinity Gauntlet scene in your Infinity War review? Uh, I'm assuming you mean the metal one. Yep. Where is the metal one? Uh, probably in the supply room. Okay. Yeah, that, that prop was given to me by a guy named Edgar Mayoral. He's a great guy, does metalworking stuff. He apparently worked on the actual prototype for the Infinity Gauntlet prop in the Marvel movies. The one he sent me was one he did like years and years ago before he started doing that when he was like still apprenticing. Uh, what do you think of Spider-Man Homecoming? It was good. Yeah, I loved it. Is Mechacar still around? Eh. <laughs> Maybe. What is Vega's favorite season of Power Rangers? Uh... Back when I was a kid, I just liked the first few. Favorite region in Pokemon? Uh, damn, what's the French one called? Uh, Kalos. The, the one with the Fran French shit. Kalos. Kalos, then. Hmm. Gen 6, Kalos. X yeah. and Y, Kalos. Thank you. Uh, favorite, Johto, uh, for me. Thoughts on My Hero Academia and Attack on Titan? Thumbs up. Yeah, I'll go Although thumbs up. season three of Attack on Titan, I just kind of dropped. No reason, I just... Uh, I didn't have the drive to watch it much anymore. Thoughts on the recent Steven Bomb, which could be any number of things, but I'm assuming you mean Thumbs Revelations. Up. Literally legs, literally homeworld. Where did Linkara get his hat from? That was a gift to me from my grandmother who found it at a flea market. Uh, and in this case, I only got it because it did not fit my brother's head. And then it became the legendary hat. Yes, and now I need to get a haircut because it's hard to wear the hat when I have a full head of hair. Oh, but it feels so nice when I do this. I hope you have a great day, and please continue to make your show for years to come. Since Billy Charles W., I intend to. Anyway, Satoko Ono sent you a Krios uh, Enterprise. Yo. Nice. Let me see if there's a letter or anything. Nope. But thank you, Satoko Ono. Yeah, you got more packages on your side of it. I have two big ones left. Here, have which some. Uh, one a, says, open me last. There's a bunch of small ones over here, yep. so take them. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure it doesn't go underneath. Get it. 
This is uh, eBay from 1M Deals and Finds. I'm is... opening something up from Michael Pimilla. Debbie does Dallas the comic. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Can we look at some of the pages? I mean, it's, kind of, it's a weird bag in it. Anyway, Michael sent us Dead to Rights. And a letter. Dear Lewis, really been enjoying your 10th anniversary so far. The comic I have here for you is a tie-in to the Namco video game Dead to Rights. It explains the background of some of the story elements in the game, but it's definitely possible to enjoy it without having played the game. Yeah, I can't show the interiors. This, this is porn. <laughs> well, obviously, but I wanted to take a peek. Well, you can take a peek after the letter. <sighs> it's not the same. You ruined the moment. Anyway, I have a few questions for you. What was the review you originally had planned for the summer, but you had to push back due to various events? Uh, there's a few of those. Oh, oh, uh, I'm, I've rescheduled that one to, like, the beginning of January. It was going to be Dooms 4 number one. Ah. Uh, also, I think I have a pretty good idea of the Marvel comic you were originally planning on doing for the 500th. Which one was it? The infamous Searings to Crossing. Maybe. Which I'm ruined, not saying. It ruined Tony Stark's character to the point of infuriating fans so much that it was retconned. My guess was, was it close? Maybe. I'm not saying. Do you have any future plans? Do you have any plans to review any of the Friday 13th comics for a top fourth wall? Uh, for a top fourth wall, probably not. Uh, I like the Friday the 13th series, but honestly, I, we've already done one slasher series now for a top fourth wall, and I want to. I, I, I like doing more unique uh, uh, horror stuff when I do October stuff. Hmm. So I'm, I'm doing Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash. We did that one last year, and we'll probably do the, uh, the second one as a follow up at some point because the Nightmare Warriors is the bad one. Okay, what are your thoughts on the whole Disney James Gunn thing? Rehire James Gunn. Hashtag rehire James Gunn. Volu like, pretty much Guardians Volume 3 is now on super indefinite hiatus, meaning it's not going to happen now. Do not let the Nazis win. Screw screw, screw the guys, and yeah. Uh, do you have any plans to review the Awesome Comics Awesome Holiday Special for Christmas this year? I wasn't planning on it, but maybe at some point. Anyways, keep up the good work. Yours truly... Michael. This one was sent for Jeffrey Piat, Supergirl, the official movie adaptation. Hmm. I, did, I did a crossover review with Lindsay on that one years and years ago. Hopefully she'll get back to re-uploading it for her other channel. Do you uh, still have the, like... A copy of it? Yes. Oh, okay. I, I doubt... The thing is, unlike a lot of my compatriots, I always knew that it would be necessary for me to keep all the videos I create, so I have a server full of everything I've ever made. Anyway, this is an uh, opening from Lone Star Comics. Lone Star. They sell comics. Yeah. Alright. Ah, and there's a bunch of comics. It's thick. Alright, we got Z-Men. We got Revolution, uh, the Transformers stuff. We got... Oh, the thing's covered. Chopper. 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 We'll go with that. And I just, as a single one from an eBay thing, I have the Savage She-Hulk number four. Grim Fairy Tales. Don't have enough of those. <laughs> the Jungle Book, but it's Xenoscope, so it's a sexy lady instead of Mowgli. Uh, White Queen, but it's Xenoscope, so it's a sexy lady. Grim Fairy Tales, but it's Xenoscope, so there are two sexy ladies. Kingsman, the Red Diamond. No, it's not Xenoscope, so it has men. <laughs> what an odd concept. I know, right? And Witchblade from Top Cow, but it's a different looking Witchblade. Yeah, I remember. Not the Witchblade, I'm, when I think Witchblade, I think armor, sword, long hair, not. This not... looks very low key Witchblade. Yep, they changed stuff over the years. Even like the logo is like Witchblade. For a new generation sort of thing. This is from our usual Amazon.com order, Harry Zapor, or Jere Zapor. A kinder, gently, gentler witchblade. <laughs> and this is Legendary Star-Lord. Ooh, nice. It's floating from the pages of Guardians of the Galaxy. Ah. Ah. <sighs> Fucking Nazis. <sighs> Nazis ruin everything. And we were talking about 
I don't think, I'm not sure any other director can really do it. Like, I can think of people who would be close to it, but it still ha has a different feel. And what are you going to do with that plot line that was teased at the end of Guardians 2? Just forget it now? Oh, screw you, Adam Warlock. <sighs> anyway, Transformers Holiday Special. That's something for the holidays. Yeah. Uh, Transformers Collector's Official Magazine. There you go. Oh, little match girl. But it's Antarctic, Antarctic Press. Press a little match girl. Shut and up. the match girl has a like a little tiny flamethrower. Ah, Antarctic Press. Anyway, you got some Transformers uh, Armada like little Very books. Tiny, tiny Transformers Baby Armada books. books. Mm. All right. Anything else you got on your end? Aside from these two big boxes. Okay, I got this little box that's from another country. It is from... Looks like it's Great Britain. Man, we got a lot of Great Britain this like today. Yeah, this is yeah. big one is from Alex Grosno. Wait a minute, let me finish this one from Great Britain before you I know, you open but that. I'm getting it open and ready. Yeah, but uh, there's a letter and everything attached that I want you to read. Okay, okay. Me again, DMC27. Apologize for before again. Infinity Crusade. Love the show. Love the Stanley Green Lantern book review. So stupid. Infinity Golden Age Green Lantern, Crusade. despite not being connected to Battery Anoa, was a way better origin story than Stanley's. As with Stanley's weird Superman, Wonder Woman, and Flash books, you can clearly see why Steve Bidco, Jack Kirby, and Tom McFarlane were hired to write cinemas. and create new characters and concepts. Bad news. Uh, this is about his uh, his about soccer stuff. Oh. Uh, bad news, Liverpool FC, who I mentioned in a previous letter, have lost the Champions League final in Kiev, Ukraine, to Real Madrid because Liverpool's goalkeeper, Laura, I, I don't care about soccer. I only really watched it during the World Cup, but that's only because I have friends who are way into soccer and sports, and so we all watched the World Cup together. On a better note, please find Infinity Crusade number one to four, should you choose to review it for your next event, Comics Month. I don't choose them. I don't choose Event Comics Month. It's voted on by the fans. On Patreon. On Patreon. Same which is why you should join Lewis and everyone on Patreon. A top four of Patreon. You get special perks like... Uh, Lewis, what's the special perks? You get to see secondary content a day early. Yep. You get behind the scenes stuff, which reminds me, I have a behind the scenes thing on Longbox I've been meaning to post. Yep. And you get your name in the credits, yep. and I'm reopening Patreon sponsored reviews tomorrow. Yes, which, these opening space they're open now. Do stuff. They're not open right now. Well, by the time you put up this video, they will be. No, they really won't be because as soon as they're up, people are gonna take them. Well, whatever. Try and fight the crowd and just join it for next time. God damn. There's only two slots, and and look, and, Lewis, I'm trying to get people on your shit, and you're making them not. And can, you just don't know how to advertise, do you? No. Ah. I'm a creative person. I don't know anything about marketing. You need a manager. I am now your manager, and I'm managing you to get people on your Patreon. Don't just wait on that to ignore me. You're just going to ignore me, aren't you? Plus a Boots voucher. You Americans call Boots Walgreens. I don't think we call them that. Just, just Anyway, well, thank boots, you, DMC. Well, Boots is probably like a, a pharmacy chain. Ah, like, you know, Walgreens. Anyway, this is from Alex who? Grosno. Just quite a few items in here. There's a large, like, thing right there. Oh, wow. The letter. It looks like a military bag, and what the... What's inside? What the heck? It's a gas mask. I guess this is useful in case, you know, uh, it's it's a war again. It's me again, Alex Crossno. I saw your previous unboxing oh, video. I'm glad you enjoyed all the gifts it. I sent you both. Vega especially. By the way, how are the headphones, Vega? I deeply apologize if they don't work or aren't very good. Are you talking about the Rainbow Dash ones? I believe so. I mostly wish wear them for decor and not listening out of. I'm sorry. I believe I only bought them for $20 on a Hot Topic a number of years ago and haven't removed them from the box. Again, I apologize, but at least they look nice. I mostly just wear them because they're kawaii and stuff. So I wore them with a kawaii outfit. And I didn't actually use them as headphones. Anyways, after sending the last box, I got really into reading comics again. I think and this is a... I don't know what this I'm is. I'm going to keep reading. Okay. Uh, I really got into reading comics again. I've been buying a ton of them the past number of months. While most are good, I have ended up buying quite a few crappy ones as well. I feel all these would make good at Top of the episodes, and I've sent them your way. Along with them is a Shonen Jump manga from 2008 that has a certain manga story that I hope to Patreon you to review, as the story was co-created by Stan Lee. In addition, I've also included a couple more gifts. Ooh. One for Vega. Look at this. It's and a couple for Lewis. I'm certain you will know which one is Vega's as soon as you open the box. Oh, God, this Rainbow Dash. What has life done to you? They cut off her hair. And they made they, they made her, her face. 
what have they done to you, Rainbow Dash? But no, this is a really cute purse. As for you, Lewis, I'm certain you will have some enjoyment out of yours since it's from one of your favorite series. And it says to please open the box before continuing. And there's a few other oh, items. Oh, it's actually a backpack. But I'm probably just going to use it as a purse. Oh, for did they include? What the hell? There's oh. like other packages in here. Well. I think it's like something fell in when I when I opened this before. Oh, wow. <laughs> it gave birth. The package had a child. No way. These are the stuff for Alex Cross now. So he like just included the things in there. Ah. All right. Okay, so we got the Horrorist. We got a few of the Horrorist issues. So here's some. Ghost Rider 2099, which I have already, but thank you anyway. Ooh, Area 88. I don't know anything about that. It was, I know it was an OVA, but I didn't know that they uh, ever released the manga here. Uh, Stormwatch, Fighting American, Cyberspace 3000, The Dyslexic. Or God Dyslexic Doe. Uh, the Craptacular B-Sides. <laughs> Ninjas vs. Zombies number one. And number two there. And number two. And, uh, hey, we got Youngblood Strike Foul. And pretty sure we have. Hey, everybody, we got trolled again. We got trolled. We got trolled. <laughs> Remember that one unboxing where we just kept getting troll like three times in a row? And I was like, we got trolled. Please send your troll issues to no. P.O. Box something something Lexington something in somewhere in Minnesota. Five something 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 something. Also, uh, Disney Comics, The Incredibles. <laughs> Another box in here. So send more troll issues no, if you ever do find not any. No, send more no, troll send issues. more issues. So I can be like, you got trolled, Lewis. Get it? Because it's a troll comic. Get it? Because you got trolled. Get it? Get it? Get it? Get it? I get it! Get it? Here, get this. Uh, this is uh, yeah. Got it. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Probably a human head. Oh, yay. Murder. Oh, there's more comic here, too. Murder. Like oh. Lots of bubble wrap on this one. Oh. Okay, here we got the Incredible Hulk bats against Rhino. So it's a baseball Incredible Hulk. Hulk. You should do a sports month. Ah, good. People have been asking me about this. The Invincible Cowborg. Ah. Ah. Also, I got an issue of Shonen Jump. I used to collect these way back in the day, like when they first started in like, I think 2003 in America or something like that, 2002. Oh man, I haven't held a Shonen Jump, like a new Shonen Jump in years. I think they only make this digital now. I didn't even know they were releasing like Slam Dunk in it. And it comes with a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Oh my God. I don't want one of these. I don't think it'll fit me, but I'll try. Yeah. Oh no, my husband's a Cyberman. Cyberman, don't thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did your all for Queen and Country? Yeah, I did my duty for Queen and Country. I'm sure if I adjust this, I can actually fit it a little bit better. But yeah, check it out Cyberman hat, helmet. Yeah, it's not going to fit over this natural hair. <laughs> Cybermen are my favorite Doctor Who baddies. <laughs> So even if I can't wear it, you know, it's a good display piece. Yeah. Let's call it handles. We could put it upstairs with all Doctor Who stuff. I actually own another one as well as a controller version. I hope you enjoy it, both as a collector's item and as a prop for your show. Or at the very least, put it on and reenact certain clip you often use in your vids. As for the gas mask, I don't know if it's true or not, but I read somewhere online that you stop burning the bad comics out of fear that the smoke of the bad comic will make you dumber. So hopefully the mask will help with that. I think I'm going to get a joke about that at one point. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I hope you two have a good day. Keep being awesome. Thank you, Alex Crossno. We could probably use this, like, as a, for a crazy Halloween costume. Yeah. Huh, and Halloween is coming up, and I don't have an idea for a costume. Yeah. I do like this visor thing. Maybe I'll turn it into something. Yeah, all right. We got one last thing for Mr. and Mrs. Lovehog that says, please open me last. And it has on the side of it a poop sign and an is the mic on. Check it again. Ha. <laughs> Check it again. No one even knows what we're referencing when we say that. Check it again. <sighs> Check it again. Check it again! <laughs> 
Oh, Watch purple God. eyes. I just really like this. I just, I like it, but I want to incorporate it into something. Like maybe I could make it all kawaii and make this like, like kind of a fallout kawaii outfit. There's a lot of stuff in here. Warning, the package you just opened was sent to you by a 23 year old autistic woman who went a little overboard trying to find and make things to send you as a result of overthinking things. Rather than place the items in separate packages like any sane person would, she thought it'd be best to try to cram everything into one box. In past peel unboxings, you mentioned that your frustrations by people sending you multiple packages at once and she did not wish to upset you. I appreciate it. Oh. In addition, the written letter was so long that it'd be split into five different parts so as not to overwhelm you by having to read it all at once. But then again, in the past, we received giant boxes filled all the way to the top of the comic books, so your definition of overboard would probably be different from hers. <laughs> anyway, for all this, she apologizes and hopes that you enjoy the gifts. You're cool. Anyway, the first thing I noticed is ponies. Look at this Rainbow Dash gift bag with some more ponies on the other side. I don't know what I'm doing with it. Maybe I'll, like, if it's a birthday coming up and I don't have anything to wrap, like, wrap it in, I can put it in this bag with some tissue I got, and boom. Scooby-Doo meets Batman. Scooby-Doo meets Batman. Ah, uh, Scooby-Doo and Batman Brave and the Bold. Oh, nice. Like the, the Brave and the Bold cartoon I like? Yep. Oh, wait. It's Pal. I could tell because, like, uh, you know, it has all the British, like, oh, Irish film classifications. So this we probably can't even play this. Yeah, sorry. We can't play Region 2. Yeah, I'm sorry. In America, we got different regions for our DVDs. So, yeah. Which really sucks. So we also got four Pokemon movies here. Is it also Pal? It's Region Two. It says well, so on the thing. Yeah, sorry, we we're Region One. We can't play these. Yeah, I'm sorry, we need we need Region Free stuff. It's yeah, also Region got, Free uh, or Region One, because America's regions are America's DVD regions are different. So before you send DVDs, especially from overseas, please check what region it is. We cannot play most European uh, DVDs and Blu-rays. I think, or maybe just DVDs. Woo! Get a rowlet there. That note, we got a Squirtle Water Squirter. Oh, Pokemon. Plus four epic post Pokemon postcards. Ooh, Check those they out. are very epic. Oh, God damn it. I'm going to figure out a way for us to play Region 2 stuff because we've got Dark Side of Dimensions. We have that upstairs. Do we? I think so. Have you checked the Yu-Gi-Oh shelf? I need to check again. Check it again. I'll check it again. Dark Side of Dimensions was freaking awesome, by that the way. That was a good movie. I'm so glad we got to see that in theaters. Monster High Electrified. But it's in... Yeah, we can't play any of these. I'm sorry. We got The Greatest Showman, which I don't know how to feel about that, plus the soundtrack to it. Well, I was curious about watching it, but I was just going to get it on Netflix, watch it on Netflix eventually. Hey. Uh, at least CDs we could play, like, here. We got uh, Captain's Log Notebook. Ooh, nice. Captain's Log. Star date uh, today. Assassination <laughs> Classroom, but this is the PAL version. <laughs> Oh no, we can't read Pal the manga. We need Region 1 manga. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think I have any Assassination Classroom, although I did like the anime a lot. I did watch the anime. Oh boy, the Iron Giant with a sticker for for Ready Player One. Yes, but it's Pal. This is one of my favorite movies, like animated movies, but can't play it here. Oh yeah, Nickelodeon Slime. Oh man. Oh, here in Minnesota, we have uh, yep. the Mall of America that has this theme park in the middle called Nick Universe, and they sell, like, Nickelodeon things at it, and... I think you mean yes. Camp Snoopy. It used to be Camp Snoopy. It's been Nick Universe for ten years. Get over it. Camp Snoopy! It's been Nick Universe for ten years. Get over it's it. It's been wrong for ten years! <laughs> anyway, I'm about to slime you. Please don't, especially because I have pony things for you. Ah! Oh, sea ponies! From Sequestria! And Rotom! Pokemon. Come and join the sea ponies. Do, 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 People do, thought this was a legendary because when you when you first see Rotom in uh, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, uh, uh, it has it, it's it's encounter music. It's legendary music, do, 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 even though it's do, 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 not. Aren't you so cool? Got uh, Deadpool the duck. <laughs> oh man, I gotta flip through that one. Rick and Morty, we're gonna live forever. <laughs> Morty. <laughs> Uh, when I was at my friend's house, every time they would burp, they would be like, burp, and say, Morty. <laughs> glitter tape. Oh. I don't know what I would do with this, but I like glitter. Ooh, I could decorate things with glitter. I could have fun with this glitter. I could put glitter on my journal and my sketchbook. I just really like glitter. It's like, ooh! Yes! No, no, you're not interested in this. Give me that! No. I love 
Overwatch. How dare you? I don't know what you're talking about. This is not Overwatch. This give is a Frank me. Miller comic. Give me. So I was just talking to Lewis in the car. And I was like, you know what, Lewis? Why hasn't anyone told, like, patroned you? Or why weren't you ever interested in actually re talking about the Overwatch comics? They're available for free on uh, Blizzard site. But, uh, yeah, they have them in print. And I'm like, why don't you ever talk about them? I'm not interested in them. I have, But you play? You, yeah, I play the game. I know nothing about the story. I do not care about the story to Overwatch. But the, the lore. Nah, no, nah, I just I just like shooting things. But there's lore. I'm sure there is. And there's character There's lesbians. The, the tracer. And it makes the people very and it makes many people upset the tracer is a lesbian. Yeah, I remember when that happened, everyone was like, Oh my god! Oh the Tesco, every little bit helps. Oh, Tesco. I think that's like what, the the Walmart of Britain or the Cub of Britain or like the Safeway shoppers? Piggly Wiggly Heb of, of Britain. Got uh, some yeah. My Little Pony pom-pom rings and other assorted, assorted goodies. Ooh, I could put these pom-poms in my purse. Got and a... Stickers. Uh, See? Got and a big Rainbow Dash poster on the back. Yay. Got some more collected 12th Doctor comic strips. I, I did uh, some of this already when I did Longbox last year. Cool. Uh, this is some cool stuff here. The Eye of Torment. Rad. Oh, wait, we can't read it in this region. This <laughs> region, too. <laughs> oh, hi, Vega. Oh, my God. Why? Why? How? What? 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 Okay, I gotta... I already know what's gonna happen, but... Yes, just scroll through that real quick. Flip uh... through that, I should say. Yeah, the letters. There's a lot of... Uh... There's a lot of letter. I cannot read all of this, I'm sorry to say, because at least not on the air, because this is so, so long. But this is a lot of good stuff. You're like, holy crap. Like, this is like four or five pages just for the introduction. I will read this bit later. It talks about some of the channel awesome stuff. Mm. Talks about uh, uh, some early stuff. You clearly have paid attention, because you even mentioned how I used to, how the original blog was going to be called Comic Shouldn't Suck. And then, and then beyond the top of the fourth wall, and then, and then, and atop the fourth wall. So yeah, you clearly, you know, like put a lot of effort into this, and I will open the letter part two, the questions, so we can answer some of those. I like your handwriting; it's very neat and cute. Yes. The problem is, like I said, it's just there's so much. Wait, why are you opening part two? Because we're because look how much there is. I can't read all this on the air. Oh. Oh yes, this is a lot. This is. So. This is a whole lot. Yeah, so I will. Whoop, wow, there's this one. is a wall. It's double side. It's not on either side too. You have nice handwriting though. You like, very nice. You put a lot of work in this, which is why we're going to read this. It's my not... handwriting sucks compares to yours. Like, oh my god, I feel I feel horrible because I write like a kindergartner, and you're all like, look at my fancy writing, and it's so cute and kawaii writing. Yeah, you put a lot of work into this, so at the very least, I'm gonna read these questions. That you yes. have for you. When the cinema snob has his 10th anniversary in 2017, he was also celebrating his Ooh. 400th episode around the same time. Oh. However, your 10th anniversary is a so year after his. And you had your 500th episode earlier in the year. How are you able to get so far ahead of him episode-wise? Uh, My Hero Academia buttons. Basically, what happened was Brad did not always release weekly. He uh, missed a lot of stuff, and I always, always, always try to get something out weekly. Clip on bookmark. And sometimes, yes. and sometimes for big milestone episodes, I'd post two episodes in the same day. Key ring. Because he skipped weeks before. Ooh, and lots of glittery butterfly stickers because glitter is nice. How did Dr. Crafty become your title card artist? Uh, you don't mean about it. I love his art style. I mean, just look at it. Uh, origin, uh, basically, he just asked me if I was interested in having a title card artist. And I was like, sure. Hmm. And, uh, and... We just have had that relationship for a while, a while, a while since then. Ironically, like a two day, like a day or two after Doctor Crafty asked me, mm -hmm. uh, uh, CR from Familiar Faces, he asked to become my title card artist. But of course, I already had a title card artist now. So, but so I hired him to do Lightbringer for a while, that my my crappy web comic. Mm. And then he went off to do his own show and do his own thing, and I stopped doing Lightbringer. So there you go. There. Yep. Uh, were there any franchises you know people like but could never get into yourself? For me, it would be Harry Potter. I was never really interested in reading the books, and I saw the film just so, just to say I saw them. I, I was dragged to some of the films, and I did try to read it, and I just couldn't get into it either, so we're the same in that regard. Yeah, same for me. I have zero interest in Harry Potter. Which people thought was weird, because I seemed like I should, would be way into it, 
And according to most of my friends, I'm a Gryffindor, although I think, honestly, I'm a Hufflepuff. What is this thing you're holding in this picture? It's from one of the DVDs. That is a portal gun from the game Portal. You should play Portal. It's, like, so fun. I really wish there was new Portal. Were there any Simpsons Treehouse of Horror segments you didn't like? Oh, God, yes. I, I actually have a script that's that, that's only barely just begun that I wanted to do a couple years ago that was my top ten worst Treehouse of Horror segments, with number one being uh, the Butterball and the Diving Bell, which is just one big fart joke. Ah. Over and over. That, that, that's it. That's all it is. Uh, what is your most, least and most favorite Nightmare on Elm Street film? Uh, most favorite is probably the third one, Nightmare Warriors. Least favorite is probably, uh, uh, probably Six, unfortunately. There's things I like about Six, but it's just there's something weird about the tone of the film that it, that, that, that it doesn't quite get off. It's very cartoony, and I get that. The Nightmare on Elm Street movies got more cartoony, but even by the time Five rolled around, it was still trying to be a horror movie. Six does not feel like it's trying to be a horror movie anymore, except for, like, near the end, near the end when Maggie discovers her true parentage, that then it, be, it starts feeling like a horror movie again, but then it kind of turns around again. Okay... Are you aware of the Doctor Who spinoff shows Torchwood and the Sarah Jane Adventures? If yes, have you watched them? I watched a bit of Torchwood back in the day. God, Torchwood was terrible. I, I liked the Children of Earth part, but otherwise I didn't like the, like, a lot of season two, especially with Yanto. I because never... Because they, they got rid of him, and I thought he would... No. Oh, no, the fish I, lip guy died. I liked him. <laughs> if yes, have you watched uh, Sarah Jane Adventures? Uh, I've watched bits and pieces of Sarah Jane Adventures. I only watched it when the Doctor was on it. What is your favorite film made by Studio Ghibli? Ooh, uh, I want to say Kiki because Kiki's Delivery Service is the first I've watched, and also the part, the scene in Kiki's Delivery Service where she's talking to the, her her art, the artist friend. That that's exactly what it is having, kind of an artist slump where it just describes that situation so much. And there's this great video on it that's Kiki, the millennial working artist, and it like has a different uh. What's it called? And analyzing Kiki in a different way, which I a YouTube video I really like. Otherwise, my other favorite is uh, Francis Mononoke. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, for for me, uh, I've only seen Princess Mononoke. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god, you. So I guess that's my favorite. Oh my god, we need to fix that. What is the most absurd comment you've ever read on one of your videos? Uh, you'll never be as popular as the Bee Gees. I thought that was just a tweet to you. No, no, that was a comment on the James Bond Jr. episode, which was clearly in reference to my review of The Dark Knight Strikes Again of the week uh, before. And then it just became this ongoing thing. Because I will never be as popular as the Bee Gees. Except on Twitter. They're still more popular than me. Yeah, but I don't on measure... Twitter, they're not. I have more. Is followers equal popularity? And on Twitter, yes. I saw some comments online about Marvel saying that issues three to five were meant to be a part of the satire and weren't supposed to be taken seriously as the thought of someone actually believing that scientific nonsense is ridiculous. Uh, I don't fully buy that explanation since the tone of those issues is so different from the first two. What are your thoughts on it? Yeah, no, he's completely serious. He writes a letter, you know, at the end of either issue five or issue six saying, no, no, I'm completely serious and, and I only got managed to get this stuff published because I'm the president. So screw you for not appreciating my genius. Speaking of Marvel, was there ever an explanation for why issue 3 was presented the way it was? Nope. We have no freaking clue why that happened. <laughs> Where do you think you'd be right now if you hadn't started doing the show or even the written blog? Do you think you still would have met Vega? Probably, probably not. Probably not. Probably not I, met her. I probably would have been either still in Chicago or still in D.C. Or, or maybe in New York because I was also looking at a New York school. And yeah, I don't know where it would be. Maybe I'd be dating someone else. Or maybe I'd be, like, married to someone else. I'd probably still be working at Barnes & Noble, probably jockeying for an assistant manager position or something like that, because I enjoyed working at Barnes & Noble. I only quit because I was making more money doing this. Yeah, but eh, with all that shakeup at Barnes & Noble recently, where they hired a lot of full-timers for part-timers to start paying people less and having less benefits. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever regretted starting your show? I ask this because I was reading some about how the author of Brokeback Mountain sometimes regrets writing the original story because she often receives, in her own words, badly written fan fiction from people, <laughs> mainly men, who claim that, since she's a woman, she wouldn't know how to write gay male characters correctly or accusing her of not going far enough with her story. Oh I I have never regretted starting my show. It's it's the best thing that I, you know, best thing that ever happened to my life overall because it managed, allowed me to 
meet my wife. Mm -hmm. It allowed me to meet so many awesome people, uh, to expand my mind and understanding and do a career that allows me to work from home and uh, hear from awesome people like yourself. Uh, what, uh, what is your advice on dealing with internet trolls? I read a story online about a boxer who was constantly harassed by a troll who claimed he would very easily beat him in a match. The boxer eventually accepted the challenge and promptly beat the crap out of the troll. Ah, Whether the story We is... all wish we could do that! <laughs> Whether the story is true or not, I'm not sure. I would like to think it is, but I doubt to be able to do that. I don't know what I'll do when I come across these type of comments. I wish I could do what that boxer did. There's but sadly... That'll never happen. There's lots of strategies, and honestly, there's no good, there's no surefire way of dealing with uh, with, with trolls online. There's yeah. blocking them. There's muting them. There, there's coming up with such excellent zingers that they are horrified and go away. There, there's just just laughing it off. Uh, there's disabling comments altogether. Yeah, I just block. De delete, block, and then rock on. Mm. So that's all I pretty much do. And does it still get to you even though you block and delete it? Sometimes. Yeah. But a lot of at the end of the day, what are they gonna do? You're They're not unless they're in your face threatening you with a knife. Or doxing you. Or doxing you. Yeah. But yeah, uh, it's 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 not always easy. But it ultimately comes down to what you want to do and whether you think it's worth it or not to get, yeah. to go through stuff. Yeah. Now, now for me, all the positive stuff I get from people more than makes up for it. Other people may not feel the same way. Yeah, it's like the hate you get online. It's sometimes it's maybe only five percent of this crap you get. Like people say to you, but sometimes that when that five, sometimes that five percent even you can get to you, maybe ten percent. It just still gets to you because it's just so harsh. But basically, I don't, I don't know. It's just that's pretty much all we do because it's pretty much all we can do. Mm. Anyway, I got a letter to me, what? so I'm going to read it because it's to me. So there. Do you hear the idols sing, singing the songs they didn't write? It is the music of the fan girls that wave glow sticks in the night. Hi, Vega. I felt that I neglected you in the main letter, so I decided to write you this brief one. While I've only seen a handful of idols of anime, I liked what I've seen so far. You and Lewis are freaking adorable together. My favorite moment of yours is during one of the Nightmare on Elm Street reviews, where after Lincar tells you that the house is haunted, you pick up the suitcase that was somehow already there. What was in that thing? Oh, actually nothing. It was a old little suitcase that uh, I had since I was a baby. I think I gave it to a friend not too long ago. But yeah. <laughs> And walk out the door. That scene always makes me giggle no matter how many times I watch it. And now for some questions. What made you want to start doing Idols of Anime? Uh, because there was nothing else like it. I loved Idol Anime. I still love Idol Anime. And I, I made a, a panel about it. That's because there was a ton of series coming out all the time. This was back in like 2012, 13 I made this panel. Then I decided I want to get back into YouTube and making videos. So I wanted to make a video series about idol anime because I wanted to do video versions of all of the panels I've been doing over the years and it became a much huger project than I thought and well just no one ever gave idol anime that type of thought idol anime is just a, a it's a niche within a niche yeah there's a lot of fans of it but not a, a lot let's put it this way at anime expo the biggest anime con in the U.S. I went to see uh Aqua they're the girls from Love Live Sunshine and it was their first like co like concert, just them, uh, about an hour or two long, and it was awesome. But there were still extra seats, so yeah. And that was like the biggest group of idol fans I've ever seen, and yet there were still some e extra seats in the Microsoft Theater. So yeah, that. And while there was lots of idol things at AX because there was enough fans there at other cons, it's like maybe you and five other people that even know what idol anime is. I make the show for them as well because there's not a lot of people who like idol stuff in america i want more people to get into it and check out some of these shows a lot of these shows have really good merit yeah it's not the biggest shonen thing but it they're fun sometimes innocent sometimes they're just what you need sometimes the music is great especially like when lantis is behind it or uh, Monica, who does a whole lot of different songs for different animes behind it. So you got lots of any song sort of stuff. And that's what made me want to do Idols of Anime, because it's something I wanted to see. But no one was doing it, so here I am. 
what are your favorite uh, top to fourth wall reviews or moments? So my favorite review for a long time was actually the Mickey Mantle review from way long ago. No one even ever thinks about that one. I don't know why it was my favorite for a while. Uh, other than that, let's see, what's my other favorite? Mm, from, well, for moments, I think it was the moment where uh, pretty much the entire gun and sorcery storyline is my favorite storyline. That whole storyline is my favorite storyline, still my favorite storyline to this day. I really like Contest of Champions so far, but I can't wait for the rest of it. Sorry, sorry we're on break. 10th anniversary storyline takes priority. I want to see the rest of it, even though I know what's going to happen, because, you know, Lewis tells me all the stuff that's going to happen in the future that you don't know about. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Gun and Sorcery is my favorite. Uh, my favorite part of the DVD exclusive Top of Wall reviews is All Romances number 6 from the Volume 2 set. Um, the vi like, my second favorite DVD exclusive review is Avengers number 1. Given what happens in that comic, what do you think their react your reaction would have been if Lewis had proposed to you on your first date? I would have been like, no. <laughs> I mean, one, I would think this guy is, does not have his head on his like shoulders. I think I'm creeped out. I think this date's over. Then I think I would leave. And then I would have a fun anecdote to tell people about Linkara, which, holy shit, I will t would tell that anecdote all the time to people. Oh, God. But, uh, yeah, I would be kind of creeped out. And, uh, yeah, just kind of gently break it, this date off and run. She does not love me then. If you asked me to marry you on the first date, I would have been like, Look, the comic is called All Romance. Clearly this is totally romantic. And I would have been like, well, I'm sorry. I gotta go to the bathroom. Takes purse. Goes out back door thanks to the waitresses. The 50s were weird. Yes. Uh, four. How did you first discover Lewis in a show? Um... Well, it's just through Channel Awesome in general. Like, I got I got into Channel Awesome because uh, I was looking for pretty much uh, since S Smash Brothers Brawl just came out and people were doing parody videos. I was looking for more parody videos because a lot of them was funny. I found a Take with Take Brawl. I watched it. I thought it was hilarious. I had no idea who any of them are. Got into Nostalgia Critic. Then later on, checked out other people's site. Got into Linkara because I was just bored one night. Me and my uh, ex, at, like. The guy I was dating at the time, we watched the car together, just laughed our asses off. And yeah, then I just became a fan. Met him a few times. Asked him out on a date. There's fan art of you asking me out on a date. Aww. Uh, when did you first ask Lewis out? And did you ever think it would lead to you two getting married? Oh, it's, uh, it, it's my OC. Hmm. Okay, so uh, I... This was at an anime con. He w just brought out his first DVD. I was in Chicago for a... Uh, actually, I had an interview at SAIC, the uh, uh, art school there. And I was like, well, I'm going to be in town anyway. So I was like, asked my, one of my friends. I was like, hey, let's room together. And I, let's enjoy the con together. And then, yeah. And Lewis was there. So I thought he was cute for a while now. And I was single. And I'm like... This is cute. And so I'm I'm in the line and we already knew each other. So it's not like I was a complete stranger asking him out. We were already acquainted from a few cons before. Hmm. So I was just like, I leaned down, like leaned down while he was at the table and I whispered in his ear, I want to take you up for a burger. I like you. And he's like, what? <laughs> and so, yeah, we uh, ended up going out for a like going out to this burger place me and my friends found the other day that was at, it's like this burger place slash bowling alley slash yuppie ass looking restaurant. So it's like like a bougie bowling alley restaurant. Bourgeois. Bougie. Bourgeois. Look, 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 white guy. You don't get to like police my speech. <laughs> bougie. Yeah. Bougie. I love you. So this restaurant was an ancient Vorlon god. No! God damn it! So, uh, did I think it was going to lead to us getting married? Not really. I thought, well, if he says no, it's not the end, end of the road. I mean, I could already, I could ask other guys or girls or whatever out. It's not the end of the, it's not the end of the universe if he says no. And I would understand it says no, because I'd be kind of weirded out if a fan asked me out at a con, honestly. 
But he said yes. And we hit it off that night. And we ended up spending a lot of the con t- uh, together. Yep. And had fun. Whether we were going to get married, well, it just went to see where the relationship went. and It worked out pretty well, I think. Yep. It's like a fifth year anniversary this year. Yep. Hmm. Like, it was our fifth year back in July. Hmm. So, and uh, our first wedding anniversary is this November. Yes. So, yeah, thank you for taking the time to read this, and I hope you enjoy your gifts. P.S. If you haven't thrown the pony plushies I sent you at Lewis yet, could you please do so? If I find it, hold up. Ah, my ring's coming off. Okay. Ah. Okay. Uh, If you already have, then please do it again. It would really make my day to see that happen. Sorry, Lewis. Yeah, threw it at your crotch. <laughs> protect my crotch. No. <laughs> Applejack does not protect crotches. <laughs> she, she, bu- she bucks the hell out of them. <laughs> my hat is impenetrable when it comes to ponies. Yeah. Ah. Oh, my hat. Oh, my <laughs> that's penetrable. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much all we got. Like I said, uh, just, you hand oh, show wrote... off the fan, the fan art. Yeah, there is fan art of us first getting together because we told the story before about us, uh, uh, how we got together. Then why would you ask me to tell it again? Then why would you ask me to tell it again if you already knew the story? Because it's cute. Ah. You tell it really adorably. Ah. People make fun of it because I'm like a fat ass who asked you out to get food. You are a gorgeous woman who I love and you are beautiful. I'm a fat ass who asked you to go get some food. And anyone tries to be insulting, congratulations, you've lost posting privileges. Oh, honey. (laughs) Because I police my comments section. That's another thing you could do. Uh, You know... You create the atmosphere you want for your videos, so or your content in general. So curate your comment section if you want to do that, and make sure it doesn't become a festering hive of negativity and evil people. <laughs> I like, I like how you drew my like OC pony, and uh, I had a green mohawk at the time. I no longer have a mohawk. My hair is still an afro, but I tied it down today, like braided it down, so I could wear a hat today. So yeah. I mean, I, it's so much hair, I can't fit most hats. And I really wanted to wear a hat today. Hmm. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, I will read this letter after we're done here. It's just, it's really long, and this video has already gotten really long as it is. And I need more water. Mm. So thank you so much to everyone, the, to you and to everybody. Your handwriting's so neat. It is very nice handwriting. I, I suck now. I feel, <laughs> I need to go practice my writing now. She shames me In any with event, her perfect, cute, kawaii handwriting. Thank you so much. You guys have a great rest of the time. Next episode coming out will be Star Trek The Next Generation, number four. Star Trek Timber. Star Trek Timber continues. We have streaming tomorrow night as well. When yep. Well, by the time this episode goes up, you know, it'll, the stream will be over. But yeah. certain Star Trek judgment rights, then... Every Saturday, streaming. Every Saturday, streaming, except for what, next week, which we're going to be out of town for. Yep. Anyway... See you guys later. Gamba Ruby!